Life is like a hurricane here in Duckburg. Race cars, lasers, airplanes, it's a duck blur. Might solve a mystery or rewrite history. Duck tales, woo! Every day that they've been making duck tales, woo! Tales of dairy, do bad and good duck tales, woo! The d -d danger lurks behind you. There's a stranger out to find you. What you do, just grab on to some duck tales, woo! Ponytails or cottontails, no ducktails. Why not get a job? Like, I've helped every one of you fuckers out. Every single one of you guys out. When I had the means. But since you destroyed everything I've had in my life, where I can't even get a job if I wanted to. What? Are you serious right now? All the things that they bring up that you've done quote unquote wrong are all lies. Yep. That's why I was laughing. Yeah. It's all BS. <laughs> it's like I wanted to laugh like really hard when he said, he said we got video proof of you walking. Holy shit! Yeah, nobody ever said Shanny can't walk. Oh! You have a better chance of getting a job than me. You can walk at least. You can walk at least. Nobody ever said Shanny can't walk. You can walk at least. Nobody ever said Shanny can't walk. Oh, all right. Had to fix my. Had to fix my mic. Hello, hello, guys. Hello, how are you? Got to go back to the beginning of this because I was watching a little bit of it. <laughs> All right, so welcome, guys. Welcome. It is the, it is, I'm embracing spooky season, which you can see from my layout and the, and the creepy, creepy stuff I was playing before. I am embracing spooky season because it's fucking September. And you know what? If we can start 
doing Christmas shit in November, I can start doing Halloween shit in September. So, welcome to the eve of Spooky Finger Puppet Ghost Month. <laughs> All right, so let's say hi to everybody who's in the chat right now. Hello, QTC. Yes, you were the first. Congratulations. Uh, Shani's Titty Warts. Hello, hello, hello. Warts. We always love the warts. Hello, Raccoon Man. How are you? Hi, cats. Good to see you, too. Hello, Steve, 6.8. Uh, Joe. Yeah, we always love a working man here. Uh, living, laughing, and crafting with crones. Hi, how you doing, darling? Uh, iconic rolling in with the pink shit. That is always a preferred emoji of the Shaw Thirst channel. Hi, Miss Mud Duck. Yeah, we know Shani's not done. She's not done. She, she's not done. She's, she's far from done. Hello, Errant. How are you doing, darling? Uh, 21 VTubes. Hello, hello. Welcome in. Welcome in. <laughs> yes, Halloween is a way of life. Uh, so happy eve of, happy eve of spooky finger puppet ghost month. <laughs> hello, scientist cat. Yeah, we're just getting started. Uh, we just did our little intro. Um, so we're going to be getting into these. These are the newest ones that they put out, including the infamous one where they got Chinese food for their birthday. So congratulations, Shannon. You managed to, uh, con someone else into getting you food but you know as the old chinese proverb says eh, teach a man to, if you feed a man a fish you feed him for a day whereas if you teach a man to fish you feed him for life and yes that is a chinese proverb i actually looked it up it's nowhere in the bible <laughs> it's actually nowhere in the bible people attribute it to the bible but it's not hello hunter how you doing sweet pea i uh, aren't gonna bring out the pink shits too <laughs> But, uh, yeah, that is actually a Chinese proverb and nowhere in the Bible, so. But what is in the Bible is Second Thessalonians, which states that if a man will not work, he will not eat. So, so people are not actually going by the Bible. So, there we go. Hello, kitty cat. How you doing, Dorlin? Can you guys get any new material? Well, I don't care about new material. And if you do, don't let the door hit you where the good Lord split you. Um, but yeah, same old shit, different day. But, you know, I kind of like tearing apart that shit. <laughs> oh, I kind of like tearing apart that shit. That's fine. <laughs> like I said, if you're not happy, don't let the door hit you where the good Lord split you. Have fun. Go find something else to watch. I mean, I, I only stream like maybe once or twice a week. So, yeah. If you're tired of Shanny, go watch something else. I don't care. But we're going to get into this. Uh, so this is the uh, Instagram stream they did on Shanny's birthday where she got the Chinese food. Uh, so hopefully this will be a good one because Shanny's chopstick game is always on point as usual. And we're going to do our usual thing where I speed this bitch up because, as you know, she likes to talk at half the speed of smell. Hello, Nick Geek Out. How you doing, Dorlin? Uh, she likes to talk at half the speed of smell. So there we go. All right, come on. Uh, let me get my pull back up my spooky music. Okay. My spooky okay. noises. Okay. So I don't know. I have no idea how the audio is going to be because I don't think the microphone is very good on that cheap phone. So I don't know how much you're going to hear us, but we got a kind person that got us Chinese, uh, beautiful, like combo platter of Chinese. So that's what we're going to, we're going to do. It's a mukbang. That's pretty much what we're doing. So might as well do that. And thank you to the person that gave it to us. We very much appreciate it very much. And yeah, this is going to be really boring if my wife doesn't say anything though. I was waiting for you to do your introduction. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Oh, again, we're starting off this thing with a lie. Shani and Rev, you are not married. You have never been married, and you will never be married. Because Shani is well aware of the fact that if she does get married, that will definitely cut into her benefits, especially given the fact that Rev is a perfectly capable of working. There's nothing physically wrong with him. He can work. He's often said that he can work. He said that before. He's like, I've got job skills. I can do this. I can do that. So yeah, we get to start off our stream with a nice little lie. No, you're not married and you never will be married. 
And I'm so glad that you managed to con people into getting you Chinese food. Sweet. Yeah. Yummy yeah. Chinese. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you. I, I'm, I'm honestly not a fan of mukbangs. Uh, I'm not not a fan of mukbangs at all. I, I don't want people to watch me eating. I don't want people to listen to me eat. Um, the only time I'll really eat in front of other people is like if I'm at like a family function. Obviously, I can't run off into a corner and eat my food. But as far as like strangers on the internet, I, I don't want them to see me eat. I don't want them to hear me eat. In fact, um, a lot of people who have sat with me in Discord chats will tell you that a lot of times like if i get food or something i'll get off the i'll get out of the ch out of the chat channel you're know, like i'm gonna eat and then i'll be back because i don't want people to hear me eat it it's it's gross so good yeah good okay so me we have a very bad filming situation i'm gonna turn that up mm -hmm. but this is for live streaming mm-hmm if we had a nice setup and everything, it would mean we have money, which we don't. Well, yeah, I mean, we know you don't have money because you spent them all. There's a, there's actually a pretty good um, up-and-coming Shandy commentary channel called Sam I Am. I've actually shared a video on my community tab of hers. And uh, she actually goes over, in her one of her most recent videos, she actually goes over uh, Shandy's Lush haul that she did. Where she spent three, almost three hundred sixty-five dollars on bathing products that she probably never used, and were probably left in that apartment when they got kicked out of it, because that particular lush hall happened before they moved into the infamous MTV crib style apartment that everybody got the apartment tour for. It was before they moved into that one, so this happened in I want to say the first or second apartment they lived in in Colorado. And, yeah, she basically spent $365 on Lush products that she's never going to use. And they wonder where their money went. <laughs> and Watermelon is staring at us. Yeah, where's your watermelon? Watermelon's probably staring at you because he, she's hungry. And that chopstick game is on point. Hello, young at heart. How you doing? She is doing good. She's she's actually she was actually emailing me. Hi Sam. <laughs> yeah, I am enjoying your streams, darling. I, I really am. Um, Sam actually uh, started out. She was emailing me, asking me some questions about what I use, and uh, I gave you know I gave her some pointers and gave her some tips. Uh, especially after her first live, I was like, "You're kind of soft spoken, so you may want to turn up your mic volume." And she's been doing great so far. I really am enjoying it. Hi, Trevor. How you doing, Sweet Pea? <laughs> yeah, there's Sam I Am. Uh, so, yeah, Sam I Am is, is a pretty good up-and-coming Shanny commentary. She's also doing some of the older Shanny stuff, which it's kind of nice to have a fresh perspective on it. Uh, as someone who, you know, has kind of watched a lot of Shanny commentary in my day, it's really nice to have that fresh perspective from someone who is just now getting into the Shanny thing. Hello, Pink Barbie. Hi, Tara. <laughs> yes, you made it. Congratulations. We're watching Shani eat very badly because she does not know how to use chopsticks. Neither does Rev. Watermelon. It's like just give. It's like if you don't know how to use chopsticks, just give up and use a fucking fork. Just just give up and use a fork. If you don't know how to use chopsticks, you're not supposed to cross them over at all. A chopstick, you're supposed to hold one. It, one is supposed to be a stationary and the other one is supposed to be moved up and down. You're supposed to hold the first one like a pencil or the one that moves up and down like a pencil. They're not supposed to cross over like that. Oh, Sam I am, she's right here. She's actually in here. Uh, if one of my mods, uh, I know Aaron and Iconic are in here. If one of my mods can get uh, Sam's channel and uh, put it in the chat, that'd be fantastic. I've also shared one of her videos to my community tab. Uh, no. She, she's really small right now. She's, she's really small. Um, I think she has, like, what? The last time we checked, it was, like, what? 17 subs? But, yeah, she's, she's pretty small. Like I said, I've shared one of her videos in my community tab. Uh, if you want to go look over at my community tab, you can. But, uh, if one of my mods could get the link to Sam I Am's channel, that'd be fantastic. No, he wants the people food. Mm-hmm. That's like, no girl. 
this is people food. You wouldn't like it. You know? There's literally nothing here to be like. Mm -hmm. God, it's so quiet. They it's really like should have turned up their mic. I could tell. Maybe the friend. Um. It's bread, though. Mm hmm. I don't think she'd like the bread. Uh, oh, yeah. Just use a fucking fork! I love this place. Mm, it's so good. It's seriously good Chinese. It really is. Well, I mean, I would imagine that any Chinese food right now would be good because you probably, I mean, you probably haven't had it for a while. <laughs> oh, thank you, Iconic. Thank you, Sweet Pea. <laughs> yeah, I I'm glad to help out Sam. I am. She's she's a little cutie. She's she sounds adorable. <laughs> she sounds fucking adorable. I love her accent. But yeah, I mean, any Chinese food would probably taste good if you haven't had it in a while. Mm. Yum. It's a good place. Lo mein good? The lo mein is great. Sweet. I'm just devouring general so. But look at Shani. Doesn't she look like someone who is just wasting away? I mean, she's dying, guys. You gotta remember that. She's she's very, very sick. She's very, very sick. And it has nothing to do with the fact that she is this big. Nothing to do with the fact. Because you can see Rev's entire body here. Because he's got his legs folded up. Uh, you can see his entire body. You can't see Shani's entire body in this frame. Well, I mean, you can see... Now, obviously, like, half of him's cut off. Because, you know, the focus has always got to be on Shani. I have General Tso's, too. I have pork lo mein, General Tso's, and the shrinky poos. Yeah. I will say this much. General Tso's chicken is the fucking shit. And before anybody says anything, um... American Chinese food, yes, is different from actual Chinese food. And, and this is something I've gotten from a Chinese YouTuber that I love to watch. Um, <laughs> you're welcome, darling. Mwah. And uh, she says that while American Chinese food is obviously going to be different from mainland Chinese food, it's because Amer but it's still Chinese food because it is how the Chinese adapted their cooking when they immigrated to the United States, when they immigrated to America. So she says, never consider American Chinese food to be less Chinese than actual Chinese food, because it is a result of having to adapt your cooking based on where you are living geographically. So that's what, that's what an actual Chinese YouTuber has said before. But um, yeah, Shani Rev, just because you're eating with chopsticks doesn't mean that you are any more authentic. Doesn't make the food any better, trust me. Is that pork woman? Yes, it's pork. Okay. I love Chinese pork. Me too. Mm. I like the way they roast it. It's got a spice to it. Yeah. The pork. Mm -hmm. Oh lord. Don't call me when I'm on YouTube. <laughs> doing the live stream. I can't talk to you and do the live stream. Thank you. Sorry about that. <laughs> Listen, if you can't hear us or whatever, and that's why you're doing that, nothing I can do about it. We have bad placement of the phone. It's like, maybe, we should have went out in the kitchen I bet we, we can, well, well, let me check. Let me check. I mean, yeah, you could have just done this from the kitchen. But, of course, that would require Shani to actually get up and put physical effort into walking from the couch to the kitchen. We, as we all know, she lives on that couch. She eats on that couch. She sleeps on that couch. She pisses on that couch. She probably shits on that couch. Uh, so her getting up and actually making the physical effort to get up and go into the kitchen would have been just, it would have been too much for her. Because remember guys, she screams in agony when she just has to go to the bathroom. Check how we sound. We're doing what we can. Yeah. There's no place in this place that's good for <laughs> streaming or whatever. Oh. 
Yeah. The sound is off. We're muted. We're muted? Is that what it said? He said we're muted. Oh, good. No, we're not. We are not muted. You, you might be thinking- Yeah, you know, if, if Rev had left that plate right there next to Shandy, she would have picked it up and would have started eating off of it, too. <laughs> thinking we're muted because this phone is a piece of crap, but I can't do anything about that. Hmm. <sighs> here, give me the phone. I'll put it on my stand. Right here. Give me the no. Well, I mean, uh, uh, living, laughing, crafting with crones. Um, <laughs> if you, I mean, shoot. Uh, I don't know what you do, <laughs> honestly. I may need to check your channel out. I'll go check it out after the stream, okay, darling? Are we muted? No, can you're you not. hear us? Yeah, we can hear you, unfortunately. Now, unfortunately, we can see more of if you. We were muted, then if the mic Turn it horizontal, not. you fucking dumbass! There we, there we go. The microphone isn't stricken out, so. It doesn't look like we're muted. It'd be nice if we gave like a green bar or something. So, you, yeah. So you can hear it. it. Doesn't give that. Hmm. God, you two are stupid. Well, Just turn it horizontally. Dude, let me do my thing. Turn it horizontally. That is a very easy way to fix the issue. That way you can have it closer and you both can be on screen. That's usually how most people would like you to film. Horizontally. So we can see see everything beyond your fat fucking face. There's often, people often say there's a rule when you film things. You're supposed to film them horizontally, not vertically, on your phone. Jesus fucking Christ. I mean, okay. Let me check this. <laughs> That's turning the mic off. This is this right here, folks. This right here is the face of someone who is starving to death. Hi, Jerry. How you doing, sweet pea? This is the face of someone who is starving to death. And since we're here and since we're paused, we're going to take a moment and just poke the wart. Poke it. Poke the wart. Poke it. Poke, 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 poke. Poke the wart. Poke the wart. Has she gotten new warts? Looks like she's gotten a couple, she's gotten some new ones. I don't see any on her chin though, so she probably dug those out. She definitely get, looks like she's got some scarring, but that could also just be her double chin. But yeah, that's the face of someone who is starving to death, guys. That's the face of someone who is extremely sick and is just wasting away as we watch her. Oh, Instagram doesn't allow landscape? I'm 40 years old. Yeah, so? So am I. I'm 40 years old, too. Yeah, she's got she's got some in her eye creases and under her eye bags. Holy shit. Ew, gross. And it looks like she's got one down here, too. That's correct. Do I look 40? No, you look like you're probably about 50 or 60, depending on the day. I don't think you do. And you guys will have to forgive me. Um, <laughs> she, yeah, she keeps getting fatter. You'll have to forgive me. Um, unfortunately, when I switch to this, um, the Halloween setup, it does not have the flying spaghetti monster. So unfortunately, we will have to make do without our Lord and Savior. Although, wait a second, I can probably. But I am up. forty. I hope it's not mute. Am I mute? Can someone tell me if I'm mute? Can you hear me? No, come over here. Thank you. No one's saying anything. No one's saying anything. Muted. No one's watching. Not her. muted. Okay, good. 
Thank you. There we go. There he is. I'm not muted, baby. All right, there we go. Thank our you. Lord and Savior has returned. Yeah, thank you. Me Praise be to he who was boiled for our sins. Fix this. Hi, Blondie. How you doing, sweet pea? Oh. Ramen. Ramen. There we go. They can hear me. Okay, fine, whatever. <laughs> thanks for this food, though. Yeah, thank you. I was actually really hungry. So yeah, we have to thank. No. We were told this. Yeah. We are here to thank <laughs> Carrie's mom. <laughs> yeah. I mean, honestly, I don't understand why we have to thank Carrie's mom. She's a religious zealot who beat up on her daughter when she had her period. Right. And made her feel awful for going through puberty. So I don't I don't know why you want to thank Carrie's mom, but thank you, Carrie's mom. Yeah, thanks, Carrie's mom. You know, I Hold guess on, you were I've in got town some dog aggro. You just felt it was the right thing to do. So mm -hmm. I appreciate that very much. It's very delicious. Twenty six people for a mukbang, okay. Regarding your daughter though like i i think you should just let her do her thing mm -hmm. and um True. let her be the spoiled brat she wants to be yeah this, this part right here is hilarious because i want to say in like the video after this one after the palate cleansers because those will be coming a little bit early in the stream i do want to say that after this she goes into a long fucking rant about um, Carrie. And it's not like, you know, her usual, you know, saying Carrie's a terrible person and saying can leave Carrie alone. Although now she's kind of ripping on her, which of course is like, what a difference a day makes, I suppose. What a difference a day and probably money made. Let her blossom into a woman where she doesn't feel the need to attack people. Because, you know, Carrie attacked a lot of people. In her life. It was a pretty dramatic scene at the end of that movie. It really is. It's pretty dramatic. Mm-hmm. I keep moving my chopsticks. Are you getting old? I think so. Yeah, he's 39. There's actually this very adorable comic that I used to see on Tumblr where someone actually uh, made Jason and made him into a good guy. Where he's, you know, just... You know, he's a camp counselor, Camp Crystal. You know, he just, he, it looks like he's going to be threatening and mean, but then it turns out he's doing something sweet. And then he becomes best friends with Carrie from the movie Carrie. And him and Mama Voorhees free her from what her obsessive compulsive maniac of a mom was doing to her. It's actually really cute. Oh, here comes, speaking of mamas. Fight me, bitch. Ow. Ow! Ow! Come here, I'll beat you, I'll beat you some more. Ow! Ow! Mama Shaw, don't beat me no more! With an envelope! <laughs> Lord have mercy. What, Millie? No. She's just being stupid. Excuse me? I said she's just being stupid. Oh, I thought you better, you better not be talking about me. No! You're not stupid. You're crazy, but you're yeah. not stupid. Yeah. Millie, get in here. Millie, come here. Come here. Get in here with your mama. I ain't got nothing for you. Come on. Come on. Get in there. Your mama's got the Cheerios. You want yeah. the Cheerios. I will. Come here. Sorry about that. <laughs> mama shall always got to come in and give her two cents. Come on, Millie. Come on. Get up on your bed. Come on, sweetie. All right. Well, just lay there then. I don't care. <laughs> Everyone says hi, Mama. Hello. <laughs> she says hello back. <laughs> uh, yeah, iconic's a mod in this channel. <laughs> I'm, I'm forty, and I'm old. I'm old. Ah, son of a bitch. Screw you, phone. 
I mean, my thing is that you guys have a perfectly, I mean, at least a work, I don't know, perfectly good, but you have a working laptop sitting right there in front of you. Why don't you use the laptop to stream instead of your fucking phone? Oh, wait, I forgot, because you got kicked off of YouTube. <laughs> May your curse be reckoned to Trump supporters. There you go. That works. Yeah, I guess so. That's the best angle you could do with it because Instagram doesn't even allow landscape. Well, the thing is with Instagram also, you can't do it on your computer. <laughs> you have so to use it. Know, yeah. I've tried, man. You can make a video and post it. Is there a setting? But there's no live streaming on your on your computer. I've tried. Can you set up Instagram with OBS? No. Okay. I don't think so. Well, I mean, this is a mukbang. We're stuffing our face, and that's what you're supposed to do. Facebook. All right. I will say this much as far as the recent quote-unquote drama going on right now. Um, Iconic has been a mod on my channel. Um, she's never done anything to cause me trouble. She's never given any grief to anybody on my channel. Um, and all of my mods are in the understanding that the only time they are supposed to block somebody or to mute somebody is if they are doxing or spreading vicious spreading like vicious rumors in the chat that's the only time they're supposed to dox or not dox that's the only time they're supposed to block i'm sorry or mute um i do have very specific rules about how my mods do my channel everybody can say whatever they want to say they can come in here and talk they can talk shit about me they can talk shit about other people that's fine um but as long as it's not like doxing or something extremely heinous, then they're not gonna be blocking anybody. But Iconic's been a mod on my channel for a while, and she's never given me reason to take her wrench away. So I, she's gonna stay a mod. Oh, Facebook, you can. Yeah, you can OBS Facebook. Okay. Yes, watermelon. You want to smell my food? Yeah, it's really gross how she eats. Because I can't eat this rice with chopstick. I just can't. Really good though. He's losing his chopstick skills. No. I hate to tell you this, Shandy, but you've never had chopstick skills. You were holding them entirely wrong. And so is Rev. Neither one of you have quote unquote chopstick skills. And isn't that just a lovely image to pause on right there? Just her slurping up noodles. That is such a beautiful image. So lovely. If I was at a normal table eating like a fucking human being, mm -hmm. then I would be fine with my chopstick skills. I could never eat rice with chopsticks. <laughs> 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 if you would like to donate for us birthday kids birthday kids yeah you can go to paypal at rev dude yeah. or you can go to cash app and it's cash tag asmr gaming all caps or you can go to Venmo, and it's at Jason Dash Egroff, E G R O F F. That's our Venmo, and that's all of it. Yep. You're not kids, Shanny. You're not birthday kids. Hi, Krispy Kreme. How you doing, sweet pea? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Those are actually prescription sunglasses. Uh, Cause when I went to go get uh, a few years ago, because I know they said that you need to get your prescription checked, like every year or something but they actually told me at the eyeglass place that you don't really need to do that when you reach a certain age until your your sight starts to noticeably get worse because you sort of plateau and it was like my prescription hadn't changed from like the last time i had done it but what i did was i went to a place that was doing a buy one get one free for frames and my regular glasses are just you know you guys have seen them they're just the normal glasses <laughs> 
Oh, <laughs> welcome to spooky season. Spooky finger puppet ghost month. But um, my glasses that I use all the time are just like regular metal frames. But when I was picking out my second pair, I was like, you know what? I'm going to do some prescription sunglasses and I'm going to make them as weird looking as possible. So that was why I picked the bright orange frames. And then I did like a gradient from a dark at the top to a lighter at the bottom. And uh, yeah, it was kind of fun to pick them out. <laughs> but um, yeah, yeah, this is fantastic. Hi, Aaron. <laughs> Warby Parker is legit, highly recommend. Oh, may I have to go look that up after I'm done. It would be nice if someone did that. Oh, but what I was originally saying before I got distracted. Shani, you're not kids. You're no way kids, okay? I'm 40 years old myself. I just tur I turned 40 last year in November. I'll be 41 this year in November. Um, but when I got out of being a kid, I stopped expecting getting things for my birthday. I mean, it's nice. It's definitely nice. But I don't expect it. The only thing I expect, the only thing I really expect is at least for my mom to say happy birthday because that was the day that I was actually removed from her womb via the sunroof, as she likes to call it. I was a cesarean section. I was a tumor baby. <laughs> I don't call it my birthday. I call it my removal day. But um, that's the only thing I, I mean, I really expect is, you know, at least one person to say happy birthday or happy removal day, as I like to call it. But I don't expect people to give me gifts. I don't expect people to give me money. Um, I don't expect people to do really anything for me. In fact, this year, my birthday outing is going to actually take place in October because me and my partner, we're going to go see the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. And that's supposed to come out, I believe, like October 28th or something. So that's close enough to my birthday to where I'll consider that my quote unquote birthday outing. And, but I pay for it myself. I don't expect anybody else to pay it for me because I'm a fucking adult. Getting shit, expecting shit on your birthday is for children. But of course, you wouldn't know that because you probably never got anything for your kids for their birthdays. Because yeah. I don't usually get birthday gifts. And I never really have. No, moms don't get gifts. Just get them. No. No. Um, even when I was a little girl, my parents didn't really do much for my birthday. It was always, oh, I'm sorry, Shannon. <laughs> Not this year. Thanks. Well, I mean, if your parents don't have... <laughs> yeah, happy removal day, tumor baby. <laughs> yeah. That's usually what I say. I mean, if your parents don't have the fucking money to get you shit for your birthday, then that's okay. There were, a, there were quite a few years where I didn't get... If I got something, it was like something very little for my birthday. And that's because my parents, they were a middle class, working class family. And sometimes they just didn't have the money to pay for something for my birthday. Not to mention the fact that with the fact that my birthday is in November, it's close enough to Christmas to where they're starting to work on our Christmas stuff. So usually I didn't expect to get anything really, even when I was a kid, I didn't really expect to get much for my birthday. It's really that much, that thing, as an adult, I really don't expect it anything for my birthday. I usually just buy my own birthday presents. That's the wonders of being an adult who actually works a fucking job, is that you can buy your own shit. You can buy your own birthday presents. It's it's not unusual, as an adult, to buy your own birthday presents. Um, really, the one birthday that I really remember from when I was a kid was, I think I turned like 11 or 12. And my parents actually managed to be able to spring a birthday party at Chuck E. Cheese. And floating somewhere around the house is an adorable little Polaroid picture of a 10 to a, of an 11 or 12 year old Shaw in front of the animatronics at Chuck E. Cheese. I don't know where it is, but if I ever find it, I'll definitely put it up because the outfit I was wearing was cute. My mom actually made the outfit for me. Um, it was like a cow print um, outfit, and it was, like, a little, cute little, like, almost like a cowgirl type top and a skirt that I was wearing. It was adorable. But somewhere floating around, the, somewhere floating around in this house is a little Polaroid of a little 11, 12-year-old Shaw Chuck E. Cheese. 
And that was really the only real time I had like a really big birthday party when I was a kid. I usually didn't have big birthday parties. I mean, my mom would like give me a cupcake or, you know, something like that. But usually we didn't do much for my birthday because A, it was so close to Christmas and B, my parents were working class parents and they just didn't have the money all the time, which was fine. It's just, you, you don't expect it. Thanks, mom and dad. That just shows how entitled Shani is. It really does. Instead of thinking that, you know, your parents were trying to afford things like bills and food in the house. No, no, it has to be about Shani. It has to always be about Shani. Shani needs to get something for her birthday. It just, I mean, it, it's, it astounds me how entitled she is. Because she's like sitting there like going, thanks mom, thanks dad. Because she didn't get shit for her birthday as a kid. Well, you know what? Lots of kids go through that, Shanny. It's an unfortunate fact of life that sometimes parents have to work their fingers to the bone just to be able to afford to keep a roof over their head, food in their belly, a blank clean clothes to wear, to be able to go to school. And there are even some kids in the world who don't even have that because they live in such, such poverty. So, you really are reflecting first world problems here, Shani. You you really are. Pork fried rice is extremely mediocre. Let's see, turn this down just a touch. I'm sorry. Maybe it's my taste buds. It could be COVID. It could be my taste buds. Like, things don't taste as good as they used to with me. Uh -huh. I definitely can't smell, like, things that are, like, really strong, like ammonia. Mm -hmm. That's big. That's... Shanny, 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 we saw the condition of the Colorado apartment. We, we were, we were all privy to the NTV crib style apartment tour that was given after you got ousted. I have no doubt that you are quite nose blind to the smell of ammonia from the look of that litter box that was in that house. Ugh. I mean, I will fully admit there are certain things that I'm nose blind to because of, you know, I spent like 10 years working in the medical field. So there are certain smells that I'm really nose blind to. Um, and it just happens sometimes when you smell something all, all the time. Like I actually got nose blind to the smell of poop because of where I worked. You kind of can't be offended by the smell of poop if that's what you work with all the time. But yeah, I mean, it's like you, you get nose blind, Shani. I have no doubt that you are nose blind to the smell of ammonia. Yeah. Or or bleach. I can't smell it for some reason. COVID has killed my smelling receptors. It wasn't COVID that you've never had COVID. The only time that I remember you talking about getting sick and maybe having COVID you went to the ER and they determined that it was just the flu. So you've never actually had fucking COVID, bitch. You're... It's a thing. It's a confirmed thing. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> that's not weird conspiracy stuff or anything. That's... That's a thing. No. Oh, I don't think you have soda. I do wish I had soda. I'm drinking tea, though. Mm -hmm. A little tea bad. I'm drinking tap water in wow. No. <laughs> Holy shit, so you got sorry, that was my phone. Thank you, phone. Uh we'll put you on do not disturb. Thank you. But um holy shit, you have discovered the wonders of fucking tap water. Oh my god, you don't have to drink soda all the fucking time. In fact, I'm drinking water right now. It's delicious. There we go. Delicious. Yum yum. Water. It will actually make you look better and feel better. Drink some water, bitch. You'll feel better. <laughs> Probably gonna get cancer from drinking tap water this morning. Probably. Well, but, but, but see, people eating fish in the Pacific Ocean is gonna get cancer soon because Fukushima is releasing its 
nuclear water into the ocean. Yeah, and they're just like, oh, that's a great idea. Let's dump Fukushima water into the ocean. I mean, really, what, what do you do, though? That's the thing. What would be the, like, are you going to get big vats and fill it with radio? I say, this is what you do. What do you do? You take a... Yes, let's hear it, Shandy. Let's hear how you would you would get rid of nuclear waste. Spaceship. You fill it up with all that water and you shove it up in space and then spray it toward the sun. Wait a minute. With all of the SpaceX explosions, I really think that's a bad idea. If that explodes on the... Oh my god, what... We'll, radioactive water everywhere into the atmosphere oh my god whoa you just gave the new world order a really good idea you listen to her do that <laughs> put the fukushima water on a spacex rocket and see what happens folks that's some joker stuff Woo. that that's some serious you, you know, that's evil <laughs> hi Jeff lebron i'm dr but, evil but no hypothetically mm -hmm. if it went up there in the way that you would want it to. Mm -hmm. That's actually a good idea. Send it out. It's better than keeping it here on Earth. And we. I have a brilliant idea. Why don't we take Shani's little thing for the Fukushima water, and instead of putting the Fukushima water on a spacecraft to be shot into the sun, why don't we just do that with you? Because I hate to tell you this, but radioactive waste is less of a threat to the environment than you are currently. We pollute. Now we're polluting the universe. We didn't just pollute the planet and destroy the planet. Now we're, we're taking it to the universe. Oh, yeah. Aaron W. Yes. CPS does still have their kids. Uh, CPS still has her boys. As far as I'm aware of, they have never returned. And it has been well over a year. In fact, if you want to, you can actually go look on my channel. I have a video that I put up on the day that the kids were rescued from her care by CPS. So it has been well over a year since those kids were taken and I don't see them ever coming back. Universe. So we're gonna be cancer of the universe too? Isn't that great? You know? Awesome. That works for me. My agent Smith called us a virus. It's pretty It's accurate. the smell. Mm -hmm. There is There's such a thing. thing. <laughs> this is the smell. I love the way he says that. Me and my buddies used to joke about that. This is the smell. The way he acts that part so well. He does. Oh yeah, it's not their, they're, they're not their kids no more. They are the kids of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. That's really good. You go even. Who did drag? He's done drag. In that Priscilla Queen of the Isaac? Hmm? I didn't know that. Isaac. <laughs> See, Shani, if you were holding the chopsticks correctly, you would be able to pick up that piece of chicken with no problem. However, you are holding them incorrectly, so now you're just spearing them with your chopsticks. His name is, um... His name is Hugo Weaving. Oh, Hugo Weaving. Shit. Yeah. What, what am I thinking of? Chris Isaac? Chris Isaac? Yeah, I am. Chris Isaac? Never mind. This is normally I'm dumb. <laughs> Wicked game, dude. That's Chris Isaac. Well, I mean, honestly, Scientist Cat, with the way things are going, you're going to be able to get cancer just from breathing. I'm 40. I'm old. I got brain wear off. No, Shani, you ha you you haven't had much of a brain to begin with. You are missing the required equipment for brain rot. Uh, six drops. As far as I am aware of, I have not heard anybody say that her kids has wished her a happy birthday. She hasn't mentioned it. Um, and I have really no way of knowing if her kids did or not. Because, like I said, I'm not involved and anything has to do with the boys. The only thing that I know of is that, as far as I'm aware of, they are still in CPS custody, and they will probably remain in CPS custody. So they will no longer, they are no longer considered Shani's kids. They are considered the children of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. I'm 40. So, I've been here for four decades now, on this earth, and I've learned a couple things. Please tell us what you've learned, Shani. Tell us what you've learned in the 40 years. It was not work ethic, I can tell you that much. One, people are assholes. Mm -hmm. Two, uh, and can be giving. Yeah. It's both. Yeah, people are assholes. And three, people are assholes. And four, people are assholes. Well, I mean, I wouldn't give her that much. People are assholes. 
definitely how you get left for your birthday is calling everybody out there. No work. Hey, man, it's just like opinions. Everyone's got one. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's true. As I eat this. It's funny how you say that, and then when people express their opinions about you, all of a sudden, no, you, you can't do that. That That's harassment for people to express their opinions about you. I, I, I love the double standards you have going on, Shani. This rice is becoming more enjoyable to me. <laughs> I think she, like, yeah, I think Shani like, might I'm be I'm full. Free. You see how much of a bird I am? No. I'm a bird. Oh, please. You're doing that for the camera. I am pretty sure that once that camera was off, you ate not just your plate, the remainder of your plate, but you also ate Rev's plate. Because I am sorry, Shani, but you do not get to the size that you are eating like a bird. Bird. Yeah, I destroyed it. I can't eat like that, man. I don't know how to. I can't eat that much. That's why you don't make a good muck right now. Mm-mm. Because you can't eat much. You have, like, half your portion. You're done. Mm-hmm. Everyone's like... Be a moot baiter. Be a moot baiter. It's like, but I, I can't shove a bunch of food in my mouth at once. Holy shit. And finish the plate. My Chris Farley is getting stuck right in this region, right here. I also don't like that too full feeling, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, like I said, I am sorry, Shani. You do not get to the size you are eating like a bird. So I am pretty sure that you finished that plate... As soon as that camera was off, you wolfed that sucker down like there was no tomorrow. And if Rev hadn't eaten his entire serving, you would have taken his plate too. In fact, I have no doubt that if there was anything left on Rev's plate, you ate that as well as your portion. No, I'm doing this for the video, really. I would probably have stopped midway too and had a little bit more in like an hour. I'm doing this for the video. You're a good boy. It's a mukbang. It is a buck. Muck a mukbang. And Carrie's mom was really nice. Mukbang! He said it, Rev said it properly. It's not a mukbang. It's a mukbang. It's actually pronounced mukbang. Oh my god, you fucking dumbasses. Mm hmm. Carrie's mom was like super Christian y. Here's food. So, <laughs> and she's like, all I need is a mukbang. That's all I need, you know? And I'm like, oh no, David DeCamp, this is not live. <laughs> this is this is not live. I am blocked on her Instagram, so I cannot actually watch any of her Instagram lives. And honestly, I wouldn't want to. I prefer to wait until they're uploaded to archive channels. And then I'll be able to react to them once they're uploaded to archive channels. Because, like I said, I'm, I'm blocked on her Instagram, so I can't watch anything live from her anyway. Look, Carrie's mom, your daughter, I don't know what's going on with that. But you're cool. Yeah. And she said, I don't know either. She went to this, you know, the school dance covered in pig blood. I couldn't do anything about it. I know the plot is she goes to the, right, she goes to the thing and she gets the pig blood poured on her. But I'm just saying Carrie's mom, you know, they had pig blood in their house and they just, she just poured it on herself and went to it. It's up to her. It's up to Carrie. She wanted to be like Lady Gaga when she wore that meat suit. Me too. That must have smelled so bad. Well, it wasn't rotten meat, right? It was fresh meat. No, it was fresh meat, but still, it had to smell. It smelled like meat. Ugh. <laughs> How would you be able to tell over the smell of fermenting yeast that constantly comes from your folds? There are people who have discussed actually seeing this creature in the wild, and they and they said one of the main things that sticks with them is her smell, is how bad she smells. The smell of a raw meat, and then it's like putrefying all through the night. I wonder if they have, they still have the meat too, but it's like jerky now. This is Lady Gaga's, you know, meat too. It's what, jerky what? now, but right. do you know that. who would? There are so many guys who would pay to eat that jerky. I don't think Lady Gaga. Was Hi, I'm dead. Hot. How you doing, oh, darling? She was kind of hot when she was like. You showed me that video of her when she was like in before the she was famous. Before she was famous, she's kind of hot then. She kind of looked hot to me. I've never found her attractive. It's like I'm surprised. There's the weirdness. Yeah, you like the weird. The weird is cool, but I don't know. I'm just, you know. 
when she was younger in New York in those clubs, I guess she's pretty cute. I mean, Jerry, she she has so much yeast in her fold. She's she's constantly bre baking bread. So, <laughs> the famous Lady Gaga, I'm like, eh. Eh. true. I don't, I'm, there's plenty of people that would disagree with that, but doesn't matter. I'm doing good, Undead. I, I smell the fame monster on her. <laughs> I know enough about her stuff to talk about it. Lady Gaga. Yeah. I had a friend that was massively into her. I, I will say this much. I'm I'm honestly not, I mean, I don't hate Lady Gaga. I don't care one way or the other. Her style of music just isn't the style of music that I listen to. But I will say that I do enjoy the fact that she constantly makes waves with the outfits that she chooses and how she does things. I do really enjoy seeing that and seeing people react to it. It's really funny. But, I mean, just her type of music isn't the type of music that I really listen to. I... For the most part, I tend to listen to usually alternative rock. You know, things like uh, Linkin Park, Slipknot, uh, System of Down, uh, Stained. Uh, what's that other one? Uh, Seether. Stuff like that. I usually tend to listen to stuff like that. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, but it is fun to see how much, how much waves she can make with how weird she is. And I do enjoy it. I loved Lady Gaga. Most people did, man. She was the thing. She's so cool and everything, but... She still is, man. She's very proper now. She got to sing with the legendary Tony Bennett. All right, Scientist Cat. You That's have a good awesome. sleep, darling. I got you under my skin. That was Rest so in peace, cute. Tony. Rest in peace. Rip Tony Bennett. Well, yeah, and then, and then Yoshi makes an appearance. Yoshi. I'm using the cup, man. Yoshi makes an appearance. <laughs> Yoshi all the way, yo. Absolutely. Ju I, Jules makes it. Jules, a wild Jules spotted. I use the Reese's spotted. one for tea, but that's my main cup I use all the time. Is the Yoshi cup. Mm. We're almost done. You, you, you did it. You did it, babe. Right. You could at least say excuse me, Rev. I have... Thank you. I honestly have no issue with bodily noises, given my background in healthcare. It was actually one of the ways that, you know, you were able to be sent home after having surgeries if you were able to pass gas. And I'm not talking about burping, I'm talking about farting. So, I mean, I really have no issue with uh, bodily noises, bodily functions, but at least say excuse me after you burp, Rev. That, that would be much appreciated. Thank you. And, and thank you. For giving me my Chinese finally. Yeah. God bless you. Thank you. We're not gonna say who, but we're gonna say God bless you. Yes, I've been waiting on this Chinese for about two months. Something like that. Oh. Two months. Mama Shaw. You don't have a problem with bodily function? No. Mama! No! Do not fart in my damn room, woman! Well you said you didn't have problems with bodily function. I ain't did nothing. <laughs> that doesn't mean I want you to come in here and fart in my room. Not when it's on me. <laughs> yeah, Mama Shaw came in here and tried to fart on me. Whatever. God has it come when it comes. He does. He does. And he loves you. It's your birthday. Wait, he does love me. We need Shani to have her Chinese. Because heaven will be happy when Shani's happy. <laughs> I mean that, though. He watches over you. He wants you happy. Well, yeah. He does. When your mother and father forsake you, mm -hmm. I will raise you up. I will lift you up. That's right. Your mother and father did not forsake you, Shani. If they had forsaken you... They would not have taken you in after you were, after you divorced Chris. There is a live stream after live stream after live stream on the, on the different archive channels. I want to say I, either Fundy Archive or Fat Courtney Love, who tend to put up a lot of the older Shanny stuff, that show Shanny's mom being very supportive of her during her divorce from Chris, during her breakup with Chris. And it's like, if your parents had forsaken you, and were not didn't love you at all they wouldn't have taken you in there is a big difference 
between hating a family member for no good reason and cutting a toxic family member out of your life because how you do because of how they are is too stressful for you to deal with. Shani, you put your mother under so much stress while you were in that house after your breakup with Chris that you more than likely shortened her life. And you were such you told your brother when he came out as gay that he was going to go to hell. You have done nothing but give your family grief. Why should they stuck around you? Why should they keep you by their side? They have given you opportunity after opportunity after opportunity to be part of their family and you chose not to by your own decision, by your own choices. That was what happened. You can try to rewrite history, but the history is on those archive channels. And that history does not show a mother or a father who is abusive to their child. It shows parents who were actually quite supportive of their child, but unfortunately due to their child's constant toxic behavior, they had to cut her out of their life for their own mental well-being. And that's okay. I was forsaken, so God is my parents my mother and father mm -hmm. and he listens like whenever I ask something it's not it doesn't take that long to get it well I mean honestly QTC do you blame them because she was on there she was not being passive aggressive she was being very aggressive and talking about how they abused her so horribly so quite honestly while yeah it wasn't the most mature thing to do for them to come online and you know do their passive aggressive and mock her and stuff I honestly don't 100% blame them for it because part of it was them trying to defend themselves from all the shit that Shani was spreading about them. So, I mean, yeah, both parties were kind of in the wrong with that whole thing. And I was actually kind of happy when I found out that Betty, at first, you know, while she was really involved in the Shani commentary community at first, she kind of just kind of backed off and stopped being involved in it, which I think was the best for her. But still, it doesn't absolve the fact that Shani's just a terrible daughter. Empty. Mukbang King, man. Oh, that was nice. I haven't been like Mr. That Jason one. Avocado. Yeah. It's not as good as your food, though. I do, I miss you. Oh, please. We have all, we have seen Shani's cooking. If you have not had the joy of seeing Shani cook, uh, I do have a couple of live streams. Uh, I do know Jules and Burnt Toast used to react a lot to her cooking streams. And I do know that XX, Archi XX The Archive, not XX Archives, XX The Archive, uh, ha actually has a playlist called Shani Can't Cook. If you ever want to go see how Shani cooks, it's absolutely disgusting. That was oh. I miss my food too. People will see back from that time though. It did not take long. I was doing mukbangs. And I put on probably 20, 30 pounds like that. And it was visible. It was like, well, I had a gut. Jason, you had that gut before you started eating Shani's cooking. It wasn't until you started eating Shani's cooking that you had to take a Pepdol Bismol chaser. Oh, now all we're doing lately is losing weight. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's called the, the forced government diet. I, I call it the intermittent fasting diet. That's actually, it's really good for you though. I know. Eating now. Yeah, Shandy, you, you definitely look like you're fasting right now. You look like someone who is just starving to death. You definitely look like it. Mm-hmm. Okay, sure. Keep keep telling yourself that. Weight is really, really good for you. Okay. Hi, I, I like eating that way. I prefer it. Okay. Here we go. Fortune cookies are fun, always. Let's we'll see what we got. You can glue a fork and fork for them to eat it. <laughs> okay. Hello, Queen. How you doing, darling? So, my fortune cookie says, you will be fortunate if you accept the next proposition you hear. <laughs> what? Oh, my. All right. Hope, I don't know what I don't know what Shani heard next, but here I am propositioning you, Shani. Get a job. Take a shower. Get a job. Get up off your fat ass and move around that house. Get a fucking job. Make your own goddamn money. That's my proposition to you, bitch. And uh, since we're since we're looking at 
<laughs> uh, yeah. Well, I mean, I, I like... I eat fortune cookies. I eat the fortune cookies. Uh, but true story. Me and Mama Shaw went out one day for Chinese. And there's actually an all-you-can-eat Chinese buffet that we have in our town. And so she took me there. I can't remember if it was like a special occasion or just, we just decided to go. But we were sitting there eating our food and we got the you know the check with the two fortune cookies on it she opened up hers you know standard typical fortune cookie i opened up mine and i decided to fuck with her a little bit and so i opened it up looked at my fortune and it had just you know like some weird generic chinese fortune type thing and with a deadpan voice i said um your mind is like a hotel with many vacancies and I, my face was so straight and I said it in such a deadpan way. Mama Shaw actually thought that's what the fortune cookie actually said. <laughs> She's like, does it really say that? And I was like, no. <laughs> my God. What's my next proposition? If somebody typed in the chat that they suggest something, that you'll be blessed with it, apparently. I guess so. <laughs> huh. and, and then learn Chinese to inhabit Jew. Okay. Jew. It's Jew. J-U. J-U. Jew. Ooh. To inhabit. Oh, <laughs> I Jew here. <clears throat> oh my god. White people tattoos, folks. White people tattoos. <coughs> Alright. So if you if you say you like you're living, is it like I'm Jewing? Anyway, uh... I, like, I don't know. Jew. Yeah. Okay. This is, it's, it's a word. Okay. So, sing and rejoice. Fortune is smiling on you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They said for Rev to sing, not for you, Shanny. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, I love you, Jesus. I'd sing I love you, Jesus. You know? I love you, Jesus. You got a better voice, so that's better. Voice. <laughs> no, she doesn't have a better voice, Rev. You you don't even you don't have a better voice. Neither neither one of you should be singing at all. <clears throat> so learn Chinese, uh class. Key? Key? Class? Key? <laughs> yeah, key. And that's the word for class? So we're Jewing in the key. Living in class. Yeah. No, not really. No. More like white trash class. Yeah. Thank you for admitting it. Thank you for that for that moment of clarity. Admitting that yes, you are white class. Hi watermelon. Barely surviving. You wanna show the watermelon? We're fit. No, she's a freak out. Oh. Yeah, Queen, you missed the you missed the opener where we had uh, Rev singing Ducktales. That's that's not my new standard opener. <laughs> Come here, baby. No, she ran. Yeah, she don't want that. She She's not, like, I don't she want to be lifted. Like picked up. I do have one question though, and in their last few live streams, I have noticed. In their last few Instagram streams, I have noticed this. Unless they do it in this one or in one of the future ones, they haven't mentioned Gavin. It's always been watermelon. So I'm wondering, is, is Gavin still in the house? Like I said, I haven't watched the ones that are coming up, and I barely watched this one. I only watched a few minutes of it. So I don't know if they mentioned Gavin or anything, but they always seem to be mentioning watermelon lately. By no one. <clears throat> yeah. Right. All right. Yes, Pikachu. Spaghetti Monster has large balls, and we are grateful for it. Praise he who was boiled for our sins. May his noodly embrace be warm and tender, his his sauce be spicy, and his meatballs be large and plentiful. Ramen. So apparently we have fortune coming our way. Kind of hard to believe when, you know... You live barely on anything. By your own choice. You and Rev could definitely go out and find jobs and get jobs. You live off barely anything by your own choice. And my God, with this lighting, you can really see all the warts on her face. 
Good God Almighty. Don't be confused, though. That's actually a nose ring. That's not actually a wart. That is that is a nose ring. But good Lord, you can really see the warts on her face. So, uh... Again, I want to thank Carrie's mom. But the last thing I wanted to say, Shani, was I don't understand why Carrie, you know, because she, she's got her life, she's got her thing. I don't understand why she can't be as cool as uh, Teddy Bear and Jules. You get what I'm saying? She needs to learn from those two individuals how to be cool. Here's the thing, though. Teddy and Jules cover entirely different things, okay? Jul and Jules is just a troll. That's just the end of it. That's that's her that's her end game. She's she does shit for the lulls. She does her shit for the lulls. Uh, Teddy is covering something completely different. The only reason you like Teddy Bear right now is because he's covering things. He's covering someone who is not you. That that's why you like him so much is because he's covering shit that's not you. But don't worry, honey. I I've got you covered on that front. I will continue to cover you. You gotta learn from Yoshi, okay? Learn from Yoshi, Carrie. And Teddy Bear, too. If I had a Teddy Bear, I don't have a Teddy Bear. We have a Pikachu. We have a stuffed Pikachu plushie that Will got his mom. But Gavin took over it. Yeah, it's his now. It is his. It is. It feels so nice and soft, though. But okay, so they did mention Gavin, but he's not very, he's not being very active in the house. So you have to wonder where Gavin is. But I just want, I, just, I really, I'm trying to help you, Carrie. If, if you, if you watch Teddy Bear's channel, and watch Jules, watch the way that Jules does stuff, you're going to be getting somewhere with what you do. You get what I'm like, Shut the fuck up, Rev. Shut the fuck up, okay? Just, just shut the fuck up, alright? Jules is a commentary reaction channel, but a lot of the things that she does, including, like, giving you one or two dollars here, is just to get people, set people off. That's her entire purpose. She will go after you just as quickly as she was sucking up to you. The only reason she sucks up to you is so that way she can get modded and fuck with your channel. That's it. That's all she does. And the reason why you like Teddy Bear so much right now is because he's not covering someone who is you. But like I said, don't worry, I've got you covered. I'm saying I want you to have premium content, okay? The best content. Only the best. best, like Trump world, only the best content, okay? Study their stuff. Jules and Teddy Bear, they're the ones to go on. The they were, co Jules is covering you! That's the thing, though. <laughs> oh my god. This truly is the enemy of my enemy is my friend going on here. This is definitely a, a definitely an instance of that. These two think that just because Jules and Teddy are giving commentary to Carrie means that they're best friends now. And what they don't realize is that Jules will, will turn back to them at the drop of a hat. If she ever decides she's going to cover them, she'll turn back to them at a drop of a hat. And so will Teddy. If Teddy sees something that he feels the need to comment on about them, he will. This is definitely an instance of a enemy of my enemy is my friend going on the others forget about them they're the two you want to focus on okay all right be like pikachu you see he's cute he is very cute he's a cute pikachu he loves everybody. and he only cuddles gavin yeah he, and you. well he cuddles me too he cuddles you. Yeah. but most importantly gavin gets the cuddles he does And you know what? Before I before I go here, let me take this. Before oh, I go, guys, go. I'm gonna put our uh, cause it's Shani's birthday. So if you want to do something cool for us, we love you. You're cool. We love you very much. I'm gonna put my things in here. My God, it's like I got. There's like three different things I have to put in now. Oh uh, well, yeah, of course, Undead Ramen. That's how. That's how the hier hierarchy of the. Of the sh of the Dornbush house goes. I'm not even gonna call it the the Egroff house because we all know that Shanny is the main one. The hierarchy in the Dornbush house is Shanny, the cats, Jason, the boys. So the boys are all the way down to the bottom. 
So yeah, this, it's no surprise that if Will gave that to her allegedly, that yeah, she just kind of let Gavin have it because Gavin's higher up on the pecking order than either one of the boys. Although I will say this much: if a cat claims something in your house, you might as well go ahead and kiss it goodbye because it's theirs now. Uh, and can I remember them all? Yeah. I'm sorry. It's it's it takes a little bit longer because I'm not that. I really hate tight. I hate touchscreen devices. I really do. I don't enjoy them. I rather. Well, I mean, you know what, Rev? I mean, you could solve this issue of not wanting to type a whole bunch of shit into a chat by going out and getting a job and making your own fucking money and realizing that you two are adults. You are both middle aged adults. And you're begging for money from strangers online. That is really fucking pathetic. There are people out there who bust their ass and barely make it in life. Barely are able to pay their bills. Barely are able to put food on the table. I, I have more respect for the people who actually go out with the cardboard signs and beg for money on the street corner than I do for you. Because at least they're actually doing something. I have a keyboard. <clears throat> I don't like, like, like William is amazing. How fast he types on, on a phone. It's insane. It's a kid thing. I know. He's amazing. Well, I mean, how would you know that? I mean, you guys haven't seen the kids in a year. All right. There's all of our, any one of those three, you want to help us out. I love you. Thank you so much for the Chinese food. It was really good. Appreciated. God bless you all. I might come and talk about something today. Maybe. I don't know. Peace out. Mom, all right. So we are now getting into the halftime show. And this is going to be the part where I'm going to play a couple of Djibouti dubs. And you guys can stretch, get up, stretch out, go get a drink, take a piss, take a shit, whatever you need to do. Uh, we will be back after these messages. So see you then. Do you love me? What? No, no, no. Hey, wanna try some of my big fat dumps? Fuck measuring cups. I dumped out all of these desserts in a minute. First you take a dump, then you bake it, then you plop it on a scoop of ice cream. Peaches come in a bag now, but you didn't know that. But I'm gonna take a big old dump on top, then we could pour a little generic Canada dry shit on there. Now it may not look that appetizing, but you just gotta dress it up. A hot dump coming through. Oh, yeah. oh back for more, huh? Yeah, I bet you wanna try some of this dark dump. I'm gonna show you how to make it. Oh shit, it's already done. I'm just gonna sprinkle some kisses, some marshmallows in there, and a little bucket of Oreos. I burnt the marshmallows a little bit, but don't tell nobody about that. All right, now over here, I squeezed out about five bottles of maple syrup, and I put some peanut shells on top. Then I dumped three soft hockey pucks in there, flipped it upside down. And <laughs> yeah, oof, it smells like maple syrup. You ever take a dump in a mug, just drop in a pineapple, sprinkle that dump dust, flip that shit upside down, put the cream on top, let it melt. I used to shake and bake all the time, but it feels better just to take a dump, you know? Think of all the dumps you could be taking if it wasn't for those kids. Step your dump game up today for just ten dollars. I'm talking five store desserts. But wait, 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 wait. I'ma throw in dumps for dinners. That's right. If you could dump a cake, then you could dump a deep dish pizza, no problem. I like mine's with a lot of cheese. Now that's deep. I wore an extra tight bra so my titties don't plop into the pan again. All right, let's grab a box of pasta and dump a can of Prego because we're making babies tonight. First thing I do when I get home is I take a big dump and it's really sticky and gooey. Buy my dumps today. I know you got $10. Ooh, that dump ain't sitting right. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna. <laughs> Listen, I know it's hard to believe, but all of these meals were made using top ramen. Really? Ramen noodles? That's right, bitch. Hey, it's your girl Kathy, and I got a new recipe book where everything is made using top ramen. I know this is all your broke ass got in the pantry, but don't worry, I'm gonna show you how to eat like a king. It's a goddamn pandemic the way people have been eating top ramen wrong all these years. We about to fix that. First, we've got a barbecue beef pasta. And it's so easy to make. You just make beef and then you put the top ramen on the top and then a whole jug of ketchup and a whole can of soda. It's lit. Whoa, let's see that barbecue beef pasta in action. Just put a little cheese on top and no one's ever gonna know you're a cheap bastard. You see that shit right there? That ain't delivery. That's ramen. Bellissimo. 
You see, these other cookbooks tell you how to make a chicken casserole, but what they don't tell you is you can put two packets of top ramen on top and then a whole bucket of gravy. And just like that, dinner is served. Hey, fatso, trying to lose weight? Well, how about you stop being a basic bitch and start getting a little extra by putting a little top ramen on top with some light to be in the great. That means life in a great Italian. Ooh, what's this? Mm, I bit my cheek. Don't worry, I got desserts too. Have you ever had a spicy ramen baked pie a la mode? Who knew that the salty chicken flavored ramen would go so well with my berry crumble recipe? I mean, get out of town. All right, y'all, let's break it down. This book is in full color and it's only $10. But wait, I'm also gonna throw in the ramen nibbles. That's a party pack. We got the Ramadan bonbons, pure red, red pepper ramen dip, and my personal favorite, spicy choco chicken ramen cakes. And that's only on the first page. There's over a hundred recipes. The possibilities are endless! All right, shut up, Shani. Welcome back, everybody, from our our wonderful break. Hope you guys enjoyed those videos from Djibouti Dubs. I always enjoy them. They're my favorite. That's why I play them. <laughs> so I usually play them for the for the message for the break. So <laughs> now there's ramen milk. Yes, our Lord and Savior's blessed us with the with the ramen. But anyway, this is from the first of September. And it is the Leave Carrie Alone. So she went from dissing Carrie in her last stream and now she is defending Carrie in this stream. It's amazing what a difference a few days and possibly some money made. I'm, yeah. <laughs> Come on, Shanny. Talk, bitch. Let's go. We ain't got all day. Stop staring at the screen waiting for people to start chatting at you. Come on. See see Shani, if you were if you were actually a good personality and you actually put out good content, you wouldn't have to sit there staring at the screen for ten to fifteen minutes waiting for someone to talk to you. There are usually beast people in the chat. Like, I mean today I didn't have to wait long before people started coming in and chatting. I mean, that's not something I'm, I was actually used to for a while. I was used to doing live streams and just talking to myself, but you don't have to wait for people to start talking before you actually start speaking. And you're allowed to speak before people are actually in your live. It's permitted. It's allowed. Come on, Shani. All right. Thank you. So, I'm having a bunch of people yeah, come to me. Yeah, the word stares back at you. And, um... Tell me what's going on and off. I'll, 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 I'll be honest. This is what I usually watch. Okay? Just the news. Okay? You watch the Young Turks? Okay. Okay, Shani. You are such a worldly person. You did not just pull that up. I'm pretty sure that what you do is you spend your day watching foodie beauty videos. I'm pretty sure that on an average day, you're not just sitting there watching the news. I'm pretty sure of that. You just pulled that up for the video, okay. I don't watch drama channels. I don't want to watch any drama channels. I just have people coming to me. Um, there's this video going on that Teddy Bear did that's like, is Carrie the new Shanny? And apparently everyone's gaining up against Carrie and trying to ruin her life now and um... okay as much as i don't really <laughs> yeah the young turds can eat my ass as much as i really don't want to touch too much on the actual drama that's going on within the commentary community shanny commentary community i will say this much i do not think at all that carrie is the new shanny i don't i really don't Shani is a once in a life <laughs> never look directly into the wart. Yeah, that's that's good words to live by there, six drops. Shani is a once in a lifetime type of cow. She is a she is just she is a flash in a pan mixed with a bunch of oil. 
you will never see another cow as prolific as Shani, in my personal opinion. So, no, I do not think that Carrie is is a cow at all. Maybe a calf, but not a cow. Not a full-fledged cow. But, I mean, that's just my personal opinion. Um, but... Also, in the same vein, criticism towards behavior is not ruining somebody's life. If you put something out online and you do things in a public sphere, people are allowed to comment on it. People are allowed to comment on shit that I do. I really could give two fucks what anybody says about me. Because like I've said before, and I'll say it again, in order to be offended, I must first value your opinion. And I'm not going to value the opinion of people that I've never met in real life. Just basing shit off what I said on the internet. I'm a shit poster. I post shit. That's the whole thing that I do. That's my whole, that's the whole crux of everything that I do. I post things to get a reaction out of people. That, that's the whole point of it. So honestly, when people do react to it and say stuff about me, I'm always like, yeah, there we go. But yeah, online criticism online towards actions that have been done or perceived to have been done is not ruining somebody's life. As long as you don't go IRL, say whatever the fuck you want on the internet about anybody. I don't give a shit. But criticism of someone's behavior online is not ruining somebody's life. Um, as a human being, as someone who's gone through horrible things because of people on the internet, quite very similar to Ruby Friedman and her and, and her daughter. Um, I'm going to ask if you really No, I don't know who you're talking about, Ruby Friedman, but I highly doubt that those two did anything to incur any type of reaction to them. I like I said, I don't know. On the other hand, you have done a lot of shit. <laughs> yeah, I miss the old Call of Duty days. I, I never played Call of Duty. I'm, I'm currently playing World of Warcraft Hardcore. But uh, you do things online that cause people to comment on how you're behaving online. When you put shit out on the public sphere, people are allowed to comment on it. It's not harassment. Fair use actually, actually covers criticism. Commentary and criticism is actually listed under the ways that a person's content can be used as fair use. It does not mean that uh, it does not mean that people can only use your content or say things about you if you believe it's fair. That's that's not how it works. You care about me. You would leave Carrie alone and not treat her with the indignity that you put upon me in life. Um I can, I can say this much, uh, Shani, there's, there's not really a lot of people who really care about you. I, I hate to tell you that. I'm, I'm so sorry. There's really not, there's really not a lot of people that care, actually care about you. I, I don't want anyone hurt. I don't want to see families torn apart because strangers on the internet can't get along with each other. And there has to be always something to fight about something stupid. It's always something really stupid or they're getting into people's lives in real life and destroying their lives. And if you care about me, you wouldn't do that. You wouldn't do that. I don't want Carrie's life ruined because she has a problem with going after people who she disagrees with. Uh, that doesn't teach anyone anything except cause more suffering um, for her and her family members, uh, for, for the people around her, the people who care for her. Uh, that stuff was done to me, and I have said several times, um, whatever I've gone through, I never want to see even my enemy to go through it. Oh, come on. Bull fucking shit, Shani. Bull fucking shit. Don't even come at me with that self-righteous bullshit. You have said on several, you have said on quite a few occasions that you, you pray for bad shit to happen to people who don't like you. You pray for bad shit to happen to people who talk against you. You pray for that. So don't come at me with this self-righteous bullshit. Because it destroys you as a person. Um, your trust in people. Uh, you wanting to even go out of the house, even. Um. 
Shannon, you act like you were going out of the house before all this shit started. And let's not forget, you actually caused your own downfall on the internet. Nobody knew who the fuck you were until you decided you wanted to be Chantal's little guard dog. Until you decided you wanted to be her, her bulldog faced attack dog. Although I shouldn't call you bulldog face because that's an insult to bulldogs. But you decided you wanted to be Chantal's little attack dog. And so you started attacking people for no reason other than the fact that they were making fun of Booty Beauty. And I'm sorry, but if you're online, uh, being stalked in real life, da, 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 can't seem to get a hint. I'm probably going to have to go get... Oh, no. I'm so sorry, April. That sucks, man. I, I'm so sorry. I, I'm so very sorry that's happening to you, darling. No, nobody deserves... Nobody needs, nobody deserves to be stalked. That's why I've always said, you know, don't go to their house to take pictures or to see if they're there or to see if the uncles kick them out or anything like that. Don't do that. I mean, it's one, it's, it's one thing to send them like a spicy pizza or a glitter bomb or any, something like that. That's harmless. But when you start actually going to their house in real life, that's just cringe. And when you start calling the cops all the time on them for stuff, unless you see them actually doing something that is illegal, like notably illegal, then don't call the cops on them. Not even for a wellness check. Remember, the boys are no longer in the house. So whatever destructive behavior they display, as long as they're not doing it outside or to another person, don't call the police on them. Because whatever destructive behavior they are displaying at the time is only going to be felt by them. They're the only ones that are going to be impacted by it. So I would say watch from afar. Enjoy the Shanty show from the comfort of your own home. Don't do this to Carrie and her family, please. Don't contact her family members and get them to hate her. Okay? Don't tear her away from her child like what's done to me. Uh, don't try to break up her. You abandon your children, Shanny. Your children were not torn from you. You chose Rev over your sons. And you continued to choose your online life over your children. Because you would not get the fuck off the internet and get a job. And actually improve yourself so you could get the boys back. You refused to do that. Your children were not taken from you. Your children were not ripped from you. Your children were taken by CPS because you allowed a man who had been arrested for physically abusing one of your sons back in the house with them. That's why they were taken. And before you start this bullshit how you were just too sick to take care... I, and here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, though. Didn't you say... On the day that the boys were taken, that the reason why they were taken was because you were so sick and you couldn't take care of them. So you voluntarily gave them the CPS. And now, a year and, and some change later, your story has changed now to where they were ripped from you. They were taken from you. They were torn from your arms as you were screaming for them not to take your babies away. No, Shani, everybody knows what happened. You decided that baby carrot dick from an emaciated house elf was more important than your children. And then you continued to think, you continued to put your own life and your own online quote unquote career above your children. Because if you had been serious about getting your kids back, you would have gotten a job you would have sought therapy a lot sooner than what you claimed to have been seeking therapy. You would have been taking the steps that were needed to get those kids back. But you didn't want to give up your online life. You didn't want to give up your online quote unquote career. No, you abandoned your children because they were now a burden to you. You could no longer use your children as a, as a way to grift money off of people. Because your children were not young. They were, I believe, the oldest one at the time they were taken was 15. 15 or 16. And the youngest one was like 13. So they weren't like young children. Like they were when you first started YouTube and you were able to give this whole, 
you know, oh, I'm just a poor single mother to two young boys trying to take care of them. Give me money. No, you couldn't do that anymore because people were not going to give to somebody who has two children, one of which was almost at an age where he could go get a job. And then also they were not going to give to two people who refused to do anything to take care of themselves. No, your children were not taken from you. You gave them up. You abandoned them. Her marriage, like, was done to me. Don't do any of that stuff. Don't call authorities on her and... Don't do, don't, don't, don't do that to her, okay? Because it's, it's, it's like... You're forced to live in this reality. You can't self-delete, okay? You're not allowed to self-delete. Well, I mean, personally, you could self-delete if you really wanted to, but we all know that you're not going to put in the effort because that would, that would A, deprive you of your most prized possession, which is you, and B, that would be too much of an effort. You wouldn't want to make that effort. Plus, you're too much, you're too much of a narcissist to actually self-delete. You could self-delete if you perfectly wanted to, but you're not serious about it, which is why I have no qualms about saying, do it. Because I know you're not going to. Because you've made, you've made, you've talked like this before. And it's nothing more than a sympathy bait. That's all it is. And those actions make you want to self-delete. And I don't ever want to see someone, I don't care who they are, go through the same amount of pain that me and my family have gone through. I don't care who they are. And if you cared about me. Your family went through pain because of you, Shani. Because you had to try and be this uber YouTube star to the point where you were neglecting your children. To the point where you were psychologically damaging your children. Let's not forget the very infamous video where you were laughing at William while he was begging you to stop putting his life online. You were laughing in his face as he was begging you not to put his life online. And then let's not forget how when you were driving him to a crisis center, a crisis center because he was threatening self-harm, you decided it would be a perfectly good time for you to hop onto a live stream and beg people to stop messing, to stop calling CPS. No, bitch. No. And I'm glad those boys are gone from you. I'm glad that their torment, their psychological torment at least at least has ended from still occurring i'm pretty sure that they're still dealing with the aftermath of it and i really hope those boys are getting the help that they deserve and they need but i'm glad that they're no longer in your care you wouldn't go after someone like that in that way and and i'm just i'm just sick of everything being brought to me like i can control anything all i can do is say i don't want it done i don't like that um <coughs> i don't think anyone lives should be destroyed because of differences of opinion or rumor mongering even that's going on and what rumors shani what rumors are what rumors are we saying about you specifically about you spe my focus is on you okay my focus is on you you are the one that i like to laugh at because you're pathetic you are a narcissistic malignant narcissistic cunty twat waffle who gave up her children to cps so that way she could continue to have that blessed blessed baby carrot dick that she loves and adores so much so that way she could have someone there to wipe her ass instead of you smearing it on the couch cushions so you could have someone there to fetch you food to go out to the store and get you Delta 8. The boys couldn't do that. They couldn't have went out and purchased your drugs. No, that's why you have Rev there. That's why you needed Rev. You decided drugs and baby carrot dick was more important than your children. It, it seems to me what I've been hearing is people are having plans on destroying this woman. And I, I, I don't condone it because it's destroyed my family, that type of action. And I don't care who it is. Don't do that to people. Yep. You destroyed your own life, Shani. You did that. That was all on you. Nobody else. That was your stuff. That was your doing. You destroyed your own life by your own actions. 
you're the one that alienated yourself and your family. You're the one that got your boys taken away. You're the one that decided to eat yourself into immobility. To eat yourself into being housebound. And don't come at me with that shit about, oh, you wish you could go outside. Bitch, come on now. You barely went outside when you were able to get up and move. Don't even come at me with that shit. Do you have anything to say? Uh, <clears throat> there's a saying that goes something like, um, turn about is fair play, but that's not true. And especially if you're a Christian, you're supposed to love your enemy. So, uh, especially if you support us, never come in our name saying you're doing anything like that because we went through it and it literally did destroy our lives. So, um, no, the person who destroyed your life, Rev, is actually sitting right next to you. That's the person who destroyed your life. Regardless of Carrie talks shit on the internet, that's legal. You can talk shit on the internet. We don't endorse anything like the actions that have been done to us because it's hypocritical. It's completely hypocritical to, 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 um, uh, criticize somebody for those type of actions and then do the same thing to them. It just doesn't make any sense. So yeah, I'm totally with Shani. Leave, just leave Carrie alone. Yeah. I... I wish people would leave me out of the drama. Me too. too. Yeah, both of us, yeah. Because I don't need to know any of this. Um, I'm in severe pain most of the time. And it, it it's... Shani... Again, I have said this before and I will say it again and I will continue to say it until you finally realize the truth. The only reason you are in severe pain is because you are approaching 600 pounds, if not already there. That's why. It's not because of this, oste this osteoarthritis or fibromyalgia or anything like that. Because the medications, I've actually had people in my chat tell me this. The medications that you have listed that you're taking for all these issues are not actually painkillers. They are actually stuff that is supposed to support the painkillers and the pain management regimen that you would be on if you actually suffered from these conditions. So you saying, oh yeah, people take gabapentin for fibromyalgia. They take it as a support drug for the pain management regimen that they would be on for that particular ailment. This is how people know that you're fucking faking shit. Because your doctors will not actually prescribe you a pain regimen for you to be on. Because you are you are addicted to drugs. I have no doubt that you have abused opioids. No doubt whatsoever. I have no doubt that Jason has abused opioids. I have no doubt that you guys have abused prescription painkillers. That's why whenever you would go to the hospital in such severe pain. Oh, I'm in such severe pain. That they wouldn't give you any pain pills they would always give you a shot people in hospitals and doctor's offices aren't stupid they're not idiots they have been dealing with people who are just drug seeking individuals for years and they can tell the signs of someone who is a drug seeker if you are in any type of pain it's because you are a fat middle aged woman and this is coming from the experience of another fat middle-aged woman yeah sometimes my body hurts sometimes my knees hurt sometimes my ankles hurt sometimes my back hurts but i still get up and i go to work because i need money to live Ugh. like why are you trying to come to me thinking that i would fix things no me inserting myself would only uh make things worse but what I will say is don't do not do her like it was done to me. Because there's a bunch of people out here that think that I abuse people and I don't. Um. You do. You do. Anybody that shows you an inkling of sympathy, anybody that comes to you with just, just a little touch of sympathy for your case, for the case that you present to other people online, you use them as an ATM. You con them out of money. Because you refuse to get up off your fat ass and get a fucking job. You really do. You con people all the time out of money. Hell, Jules has, said, Jules has talked about this several times. That she still gets cash app requests from you guys. You guys are always saying, can you give us $20 for this? Can you give us $20 for that? Yeah, you use people. That is a financial abuse is a form of abuse. You financially abuse people. 
You sit there and you scam them out of money because you refuse to do anything for yourself. Because you want a life where you are taken care of and you don't have to worry about being a fucking adult. Well, I'm sorry, Shani. You're 40 years old. It's time for you to stop believing in these fantasies. It's time for you to stop believing in Santa Claus and the Tooth Fairy. It's time for you to grow up, put on your big girl panties, and get a job. Don't do that. Don't do that. And this isn't the first time I've 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 talked to someone who clearly hates about hates me, and I stick up for them because I don't like how they're treated because I wouldn't like that treatment either. Um, I know I definitely don't like that treatment. Um, but yeah, don't, don't do that. Don't be unnecessarily cruel to someone because you don't like them over the internet. Yeah, there's one last thing I would say quick too. Yeah. If you, if you are on YouTube or one of these platforms that there's this type of thing that, that goes on, um, my recommendation to you is to take at least, at least a week off of the platform. Um, I'd say longer than that, but it, it just... Well, I mean, lucky for you, I pretty much have taken a week off. <laughs> uh, I want to say the last time that I streamed was actually on Shani's birthday. It was actually the 27th of August. So I have taken about a week off. And I went and played some video games. I went and, Like I said, I've been playing World of Warcraft Hardcore quite a bit. Uh, play The Sims, go into work, watching different YouTube videos. Gray still plays, always puts out good shit. Uh, love Grace still plays. Um, but yeah, it's like my life doesn't revolve around YouTube. It doesn't revolve around doing live streams. As much as I love you guys in the live streams and in my chats, as much as I appreciate you guys coming out and watching me, this is not YouTube. Doing YouTube live streams is not the end all be all for me. I don't have to do them. I enjoy doing them. I enjoy tearing Shani apart. I enjoy laughing as her trash fire of a life continues to burn. That's amusing for me. That's entertainment for me. But it's not something that I definitely feel like I have to do. I mean, let's see. Currently, I want to say I have... Let me look at my phone. Let me look at my phone. Uh, yeah, no. Don't want to look at that. I want to look at this. Thank you. Nope, 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 nope. Thank you. Don't want to watch that. Thank you. All right. Let me look at my channel. I currently have 641 subscribers. And I am appreciative to all those 641 subscribers. I love you all. Thank you guys for subscribing. You don't have to, but you do. For some odd reason, you do. But I could... I've honestly gone through cycles, really. Where I'll put out a bunch of content or I'll do some live streams. And then I'll just vanish. Unfortunately, that's just... I mean, if I don't feel like doing something, I'm not going to do it. It's just very fortunate that I have something to laugh at right now. But... YouTube is not my end-all be-all. I don't... Like I said, I stream maybe once or twice a week. So, yeah, I already take, took a week break. So, thanks for, the, thanks for the late advice. Challenge yourself if you're really addicted to this. Um, paying attention to one person and harassing that person. Because that's what you're doing. Um, the best thing that you could do is take yourself out of that situation for at least a week. And then go back and see your mental health after that week. And go, wow, man, I was really messed up in the head to be focusing on that person so much. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's what these, these communities, these reaction type things get you into. It's a very bad mental state. And if you're in it, while you're in it, it's very hard to see the error of your actions. But once you step back and you, and you look back at it, you go, wow, that was me? Yeah, it was. So if you're in that mind state, get off. And you might, in my opinion, you should stay off. But if it's just a week, just try a week. All right? Bless you. Yeah, just think about your mental health. None of this drama stuff is good for anyone's mental health. It, on any side, it's not. Well, I mean, I don't know about you, but my mental health is just fine. I mean, yeah, I do take Prozac, but my mental health is just fine. That's as much for anxiety as it is for depression, so that's why I got it prescribed to me. But, I mean, as far as I'm aware, my mental health is great. Um, it's just, it, it's like trying to build a big ball of snow on a hill. It's just going to continue to roll down the hill um yeah kind of like you do shanny you just roll on down that hill like a big old fucking snowball like a fucking avalanche no it's not right it's not right it's not right to do to someone um and it shouldn't be done anyway it's illegal it's harassment 
and now all the things that came out with Ruby Friedman and her daughter. Again, I will say this much. Fair use as part of the copy Digital Millennial Copyright Act. Fair use defends using content that someone puts on the internet for criticism and commentary. So no, what I'm doing to you currently, Shani, is not harassment. It is criticism and commentary. And again, I have said it before. Don't go to Shani's house. Don't call them. Don't, you know, don't try to go by the house. Don't try to see if you can see them. Don't try to take pictures of them. Like I said, enjoy the Shani show from the comfort of your own home, okay? Because I'm sorry, but if you happen to walk outside and try to enjoy the Shani show in real life, you're going to be seen as cringe, at least by me. Because that is very, very cringe. Very cringe and very, very gay. With the election thing, um, I think Congress is really going to start enacting some laws for this online harassment type of stuff to stop. And you, you, you may be surprised one day you may be in trouble with the law because of the things you've done to others over the internet. And it's not wise. It's not good. I haven't done shit to you, Shani. What the fuck are you talking about? I only laugh at the shit that you put out on the internet. That's it. That's all I do. But it doesn't do any good for anyone doing that type of action to people. It just causes a bunch of people to be angry at people. And, and, and it really is, in all honesty, emotionally abusive to your audience to constantly always try to shove some kind of... You want to know what else is the most emotionally abusive, Shani? You laughing at your son as he's begging you to stop putting his life online. You want to know what's emotionally abusive, Shani? Taking back the guy who was arrested for physically abusing your youngest child and fucking him in the room next door to your two children. That's emotionally abusive. What's also emotionally abusive is live streaming yourself taking your child to a crisis center because he's threatened self-harm. That's emotionally abusive. Don't, don't even come at me about emotional abuse, Shani. You, you're well versed in that form of hate down someone's throat it's emotionally abusive and and expecting others to hate the person with you that's also emotionally abusive and it's a cult-like mentality actually um but i'm just asking people to be kind i don't expect anybody to hate anybody on on my channel i don't expect anybody to be against anybody on my channel people are free to come on my channel they're free to watch my videos. They're free to agree or disagree with me in the chat, in the comments, wherever they want to. I don't close that. I don't censor anything. The only thing I would censor is if someone came on here and started doxing other people. That's it. That's the only thing I censor when it comes to my channel. People can come in and say whatever the fuck they want. I don't care. You're the one that cares because it's normally stuff that is against you. I don't expect people to always agree with me. I don't want people to always agree with me. Because if we agreed on everything, the world would be fucking boring as hell. If we didn't have any type of stimulating debate based on people's different viewpoints on stuff that happens. And I'm not talking about, you know, like different things, you know, concerning like racism and stuff like that. That's a, that's a kettle of fish I'm not going to touch. But having debates having differences of opinion and being able to voice those in a format that is you know respectful acceptable that's okay my purpose for this channel is to laugh at your trash fire of a life it may not be entertaining to everybody but it's entertaining to me and that's the only thing that fucking matters be wise and just because you don't like someone doesn't mean you have to attack them I guess that's all. Anything else? No, I'm good. All right. Well, peace and Maranatha, people. Be good to others. Be good to yourself. And, and be kind. Don't, don't stop hurting people just because you don't like them on the internet. Because you're just, eventually that karma is going to turn to you. And you said you're closer, but yet we still have about a minute left in this video. You're not going to be the one who's being bullied by others on the internet. People should be like Gavin. Yeah. Be like Gavin Kit Kats because he loves people. Yeah, he's a okay. Well, there's Gavin. All right, so Gavin, Gavin is still alive. Gavin is still with us. A good boy. Yeah.
Be like Gavin. Mm -hmm. He's a good boy. Gavin, you want to say something? You want to go? Wow. No, row, No, row. Okay. He's like, I want to He's sleep like on daddy's, daddy's lap. He's like, I don't want to All right. <laughs> Just be kind. That's all I'm asking. All right, so now we're going to go into the one, another one from the 1st of September that is called Peace and Serenity, False Outrage. And like, I think the false outrage was added on by Drama Clipthons. That's where I'm getting all these from. Peace and serenity. That's all I want is peace and serenity. No, Shani, what you want is for people to actually be fooled by your I am a uwu victim narrative that you're trying to spin. That's what you want. You want people to give you money so you never have to do anything for yourself in your entire life. You know, I... Everyone lately... It seems like everyone lately, all they want to do is fight each other. And it's really sad. And it seems like people have gotten so, like... And this is just how I'm seeing society right now. Um, but it seems like people lately... They... <laughs> They've forgotten how to be kind, how to forgive. Um, a lot of these people call themselves evangelicals. And I'm just wondering what is going on. Well, I mean, I guess it's a good thing that I don't call myself an evangelical. I call myself a pastafarian. With the human psyche, where people think it's okay to just constantly go back and forth, you know? Or stalk someone or be mean or crude to someone. I just... Well, I mean, I do it purely for the lols. I enjoy being crude to you. <laughs> you know, and I'm not saying I'm perfect at that, because I'm obviously not perfect at that. But, like, so many people now go out of their way just to, like, hurt someone. I, I guess it's because with social media, it's so easy to do. But me, I just... I don't... I don't... I don't have, like... I don't. I don't even know how to explain it. It's like, I don't... How do you explain it? Like, not wanting to hurt anyone or say bad things about people or anything like that. Like, well, I mean, that's Christian. Yeah, it's <laughs> just like I just you don't want to do any harm. I mean, yeah, that's pretty simple. Like, <laughs> so many people now are so reactive and like they constantly are like it almost seems like they're addicted to having a a like negative stimuli they get dope god she can't even form a sentence <laughs> she can't even form a fucking sentence her brain is fucking fried dopamine hits from from being mad yeah i think they do get dopamine hits it makes them feel powerful especially when they're around a group and um they think they're powerful because they're within a group and and to me it's like if you're so powerful why are you in a group uh <laughs> They're addicted to being outraged and mad. Yeah, but it's always like this weird false outrage that people have. And Oh no, my, my outrage towards you is, well, not really outrage. I would say more of amusement most of the time. I mean, there are a couple things that you've done that have made me pretty pissed off. Like, you know, faking cancer to try and grift donations from people. Yeah, that kind of pissed me off. But uh, I wouldn't say I'm outraged at you. You're just more of a funny thing for me to poke at. And hope that I get a reaction out of. Come on, Shanny, pay attention to me. I try so hard to get your attention, but you just don't pay attention to me. Pay attention to me, Shanny. Like, almost like they get fake mad. Just so, like, I don't know. Maybe maybe there was, like, a time where it, it just felt good getting things off your shoulders. But, like, there comes to a point where it's, like, you're never going to get that positive stimuli again than the first time you initially got that. Looking at her nose ring now in this video... It does make me wonder if this black dot here is actually like a jewel or a gem, or if that's just a necrosis from the fact that she probably never cleans a fucker. Stimuli of, you know, reaction. Um, and I'm only saying that because that's how addiction works, is like the first time's always the amazing time, so you're- You would know, you would know a lot about addiction, wouldn't you, Shani? You, you would know a whole hell of a lot about addiction. Constantly trying to get back to that, like, first time where the experience was, you know, amazing um it usually never goes to that uh because it just doesn't um 
I just, I just really like everyone like claims they want peace in the world, but yet they don't want to be the peace that is within the world. You know what I mean? Again, you don't want peace in the world, Shani. You just want people to give you money to fall for your scams and give you money so that way you never have to do anything for yourself. Well, I'm sorry, bitch. You're 40 years old. It's time for you to pull on your big girl panties. Stop living in the make-believe world and go get a fucking job. First, take a shower. Take a really good, long, soaking shower. Get all that nasty yeast out of them folds and then go get a job. Um... You know, it just, it, it, it like, there comes a point in your life where it's, like, attacking people um, needs to stop. Like, <sighs> you're, like, becoming a monster when you feed that negative stimuli. I guess, like, the best way I could say it. I must confess that I feel like a monster. It's hiding in the dark. His teeth are razor sharp. There's no escape from me. It warms my soul. It warms my heart. No one can hear me scream. Maybe it's just a dream. Maybe it's inside of me. Stop this monster! It is like bad company corrupts good manners. You, you know, um, like if you're starting to notice, do 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 do. Bad company, I can't deny. Do 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 do. Bad bad company till the day I die yourself get angry and it's probably best singer. to like separate um like i just i just don't want to deal with like this back and forth thing i don't um and i'm not going to but yet here we are having a 20 plus minute <laughs> there you go i do love some bad company here we are having a 20 plus minute video but yet, you don't want to be involved in the drama. You don't want to talk about the drama. You don't want to react to the drama. No, Shani, you do. You really do. That's why you keep talking about it all the fucking time. If you didn't want to be involved in it, you wouldn't talk about it at all. It's not healthy. Um, and I, 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 I wish more people would realize that fighting, um, being divisionary and spiteful to people, and all of that and, and not forgiving other people, it just, it's, it doesn't do you any good at the end of the day, except makes you miserable. Um, even though like you get addicted to hate and that certain someone, um, I just, I just believe in tr trust in Jesus when he says, love others, love others, you know, um, there's no way. Shani, be honest with me. Are you high? You, you can be honest with me. Are you fucking high right now? Because you're definitely talking like you're fucking high. Angle. There's no angle. It, it's just loving your enemy, loving your neighbor, loving yourself. All of that is a reflection of loving Jesus. All of it. Well, I mean, we know that you've got the loving yourself down pat. And there comes a point in your life where you realize at your age, you should choose your battles. You don't have to jump into um, battle with anyone. And um, I think at, uh, I'm trying to think, let me see. I, I'm printing out my Bible. Uh, I think it's. Oh, here we go, guys. We're going to have Preacher Shanny. Now, remember, as she starts reading from the Bible and she starts talking about Jesus and God, just replace the words of Jesus and God with the word Shanny. It'll make a whole lot more sense. It's Proverbs 6. Do some, do some word replacement. Let me see. Oh. What do I Chances are she probably Googled this before she started the stream. So that way she could pull out her Bible and fake knowing where it actually is in the Bible. I have here. Okay. I know, right? We better read that later. Um. Come on, Shani. You know you've already got the verse pulled see, up on your is, computer. This is something that, like... People need to know. Yeah, it's uh, Proverbs 6, 16 through 19, okay? It says, These six things doth the Lord hate. Yea, seven are an abomination unto him. Like, if you love Jesus, you wouldn't do any of this stuff. Um, a proud look, a lion tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood. A heart that deviseth wicked imaginations. Feet that 
feet that be swift in running to mischief. That's that's basically what a lot of people on the internet are doing is their feet are being swift into running into mischief and going on these like cancel cultures and hating on people and and treating people like they aren't deserving of a prosperous, wonderful life. I, I you know, you just like, you don't like someone, but at the same time, like, do you look at your own behavior? Okay, well, you know what? I just looked up a Bible verse of my own, Shani. And here's what Second Thessalonians verse three, uh, chapter three, verse ten has to say. For even when we were with you, this we commanded you, that if any would not work, neither should he eat. Ooh, goodness gracious! But I bet you're not gonna, I bet you bet you're not gonna go by that Bible verse, are you? Savior, to to see that how you're doing it with Ron like you can't like like I know a lot of people say fight fire with fire blah 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 okay I know that but it, it's like Jesus Christ said don't fight evil with evil fight evil with good you know the positive will always eat. well I mean I'm I'm not a biblical I mean like I said I you guys know who I follow you guys know who I follow praise he who was boiled for our sins let him just let him just sit here. He is unimpressed with you, Shani. Unimpressed. But Shani God, I don't even know what to say. I lost my train of thought messing with the fucking flying spaghetti monster. <laughs> Equal out the negative. That's why you bless those who persecute you. You know, you don't you Going and attacking everyone that thinks differently than you is really just... Oh, come on, Shani. Bull fucking shit. Just a year ago, when Carrie dropped those DMs that exposed you for taking Jason back, you were all up her ass. You made so many fucking Instagram videos. Just completely dissing her. Talking about how, I thought you were my best friend. I thought I had a friend in this world. And you just turned around, stabbed me in the... You made so many fucking videos bitching about it. You have sit there... You guys have sit there and used homosexual as a derogatory means. As a derogatory insult, insult towards Dragnot. Rev sat there on a video and called Dragnot the N-word, I want to say like 15 times. Straight. Just, com just repeating it over and over and over again. Don't even say shit like, Shani, you're not some innocent little damsel. You're not. And this is a fantastic screenshot right here. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, look at that. Look at that eye roll. That is, that is just a, that is fantastic. Y'all get your screenshots in before I start it up again. <laughs> Immature. And you really haven't learned hey, how to share naughty. in this world. Um, I People are going to think differently. People are going to see things that other people don't. And, and people, you know, are going to have their checks and balances always. You know, they're, they're... I encourage people to have their own opinion on things. I don't want everybody who comes to my channel to have the same opinion on anything that I talk about. That's why I include the archive channels that I take these videos from down in my description below because then people can go and watch them on their own without my commentary and be able to form their own opinions of you. It just so happens that they have the same opinion of you that I do, which is that you're a piece of shit. The reason why Jesus said, let the evil be wicked um is because eventually their downfall from their evil deeds are gonna be a learning lesson you know what i mean like we're still like babies in a lot of ways as adults well i mean you're a baby as an adult you still haven't figured out this whole thing called showering yet you know a lot of people have to fall a bunch of times in order to learn um but how many times are you going to have to fall before you finally learn that, oh shit, maybe I should go out and get a job. Maybe I should actually earn things on my own. How, how many, how many times did you, I mean, good Lord, you had your kids taken away like five or six times. 
before it finally stuck this last time. How many times? Obviously, you still haven't learned from those failings. Obviously, you still haven't learned your fucking lesson, bitch. Eventually, the, the point is, eventually, they do learn. They do learn. You haven't um, yet. You haven't me, learned shit. I just, I just wish I'd see more and more people taking care of each other and loving each other. Um, and learning to have compassion. <laughs> oh, my aunt's here to pick up her dog, so... Hold on, I gotta let I gotta let Millie out. I'm gonna let this play for a second. Passion and empathy toward others. I'd really like to see that. I'd really love to see that actually. Like people are actually doing good in the world, not trying to like destroy each other because one person has another gripe over another. Um I don't know. I just like when I read in the Bible, you know, forgive for if, like, I, I listened to this word in clear in the Bible, it's forgive. You know, if, if you won't forgive others, Jesus won't forgive you. You know, God won't forgive you if, if you don't forgive others because God meets you at your own judgment. So if you're not being very forgiven and you're not letting things go after the person's, like, repented, moved on with their life and whatnot whatever it is that you're holding a gripe for, God's not going to forgive you for your, your downfalls, for your misgivings that everyone does. We're not perfect on this earth. We never will be. Um, but we certainly can try to go down that straight and narrow to, to be good toward others. Um, that's what I practice. You know... I don't know. Maybe it's just like some people just don't really know who I am. And they have this like false narrative of what kind of person I am. <clears throat> I don't know. It doesn't really matter at the end of the day. What does matter though is that Jesus is Lord and he's he's showing what's going to happen more and more, you know? And he blesses those who blesses others. You know, if you're not blessing people and all you're doing is like cursing people, God's going to curse you and it's not going to be pretty. It's just not. But whatever. I just, like, seriously, I just want people to be good to each other. I want people to care about each other again. You know, I remember, like, in the 90s, people actually cared about another person. And I don't, it's just like, I don't get it. It's like you see someone that's having a dark point in their life and it's just nothing but condemnation. No building another person up, just condemnation. I don't, I don't, like, I wouldn't like being treated that way. I know certainly a lot of people wouldn't like, like to be treated that way with condemnation after they fell. Not like, ah, dude. All right, well, today's, tomorrow's another day. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. I had to go out and talk to my aunt. She's She came to pick up her dog. Her, um, her oldest daughter actually just got married. Um, they were going to get married later on in the year, but unfortunately the fian the now husband of my cousin, his mother is passing away from cancer. Unfortunately, she does have terminal cancer and they decided to move the wedding date up so that way she could see. But yeah, that's, that's where I had to dip to see my aunt. She came to pick up her dog. You know, try better next time. You know, I... I don't know. I just wish people had more of a mentality like that, if you don't get my drift. Um. Basically, what she means is she wants you to have the mentality of someone who's going to fall for her scams and give her money. She wants money. I don't know. I just want people to be happy. You know, we already have enough things in this world to worry about like why make someone's life worse by saying a mean word or it's not worth it well i mean my theory is is that if you're going to come online and put yourself out in a public space then you need to have thick enough skin to be able to take those mean words and if you can't then you cultivate your online space to be your little hug box but that doesn't how people grow as a person you don't grow I know in an echo chamber it. I 
But, um, I guess I could say is, like, I'm not going to fight. There's no point in fighting. But yet here you are. Again, you talk about not wanting to fight, not wanting to be in the middle of the drama. But yet you put up an o a over 20 minute long video on Instagram talking about it. That's you putting yourself in the drama, Shani. That's you putting yourself in the quote unquote fight. I'm not fighting you. I'm just laughing at you. There's no point in stressing over it. I have a life to live. I have a husband to love. I have Kit Kats to love. I have my children to love. You notice that one was last? Do you notice? That one was last. She talks about, you know, all the people she has to love. Her children are dead last. Again, I will say that the... Well, I mean, Shani did put Rev above the cats, which we all know is false for the pecking order. That's why I said that when it comes to the order of importance in the house, the kids are dead last. And she doesn't... She's not loving on those kids. She probably has not talked to those kids for the entire year they've been with CPS. Yes, and those kids are not yours anymore, Shani. They are now the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania's kids. I don't know how many times I have to tell people to be good. How about you stop telling people to be good? <laughs> because obviously you are not the standard that people need to hold themselves up to when it comes to human empathy and kindness. I feel like Noah. Saying like, it's, it's going to flood. Get on the boat. It's going to flood. Get on the boat. They don't get on the boat. They just laugh and point their fingers. So you first compare, you have compared yourself to Jesus and now you're comparing yourself to Noah. You really are, you really do follow the religion of you, don't you? If only those people got on the boat, they would have been alive. I mean, if only you had taken care of your kids, they would be here with you. If only you weren't a shit person, you would have your children with you. You would have your family with you. You would have a support network, but yet you don't. Because you chose to be a contentious online individual who just decided to go after anybody who you felt wronged you in any way. More than likely, Moses will probably well, be Jesus next. Jesus did say it'd be like the days of Noah. And it is. With a bunch of people. Days of Noah. Where hatred took over man's heart. Kind of similar to what's been going on with a lot of people. Just hatred. It's, it, you know, it, because of hatred is the reason why I stay being an independent. And not going Democrat or Republican. Because it's like, they just, instead of working together. I'm a libertarian. Everybody else is shit. They just punch each other in the faces and it's like, can we just work together? Can we just, like, put our issues aside and actually work together as a society instead of, I guess... No, what you want from society is for society to pay you for existing. That's what you want from society. For ego's sake, punching people in the face, I, like... <laughs> oh, that's a good one, QTC. She's the color of raw chicken skin. <laughs> I want peace. I've been wanting peace for a long time. And the more I spend my life... I mean, honestly, I want the Shanty commentary community to go back to just laughing at you instead of attacking each other, but... Eh, unfortunately, I can't control the... I can't control what other people do. Away from people? The more I realize how wonderful peace is, the more I realize... That fighting with people and being nasty with people. It's not worth it. I like to build people up, not break them down. Oh, bull fucking shit. Bull fucking shit, Shanny. What about whenever Just Breezen messaged you on Instagram and all she wanted to do was give you some advice? Oh, here comes Mama Shaw. Did you happen to pick up one of my strawberry kiwis? No. You didn't? No. Okay, because I think... Okay. But, uh, no, it's like, fuck. Feels better in here, you know what I mean? <sighs> Hopefully uh, you humans will get it. Oh, 
your hat finally your hat shipped yay that's great what hat did you get someday hopefully maybe you, you've got me to a point where i like i have this like doubt in me you know what i mean that you'll actually as a human get it right and be human and generous and kind and What she means whenever she says generous and kind is that she wants people to give her money. I will translate Shanny. Oh, well. Oh, you bought a Medicare hat. Oh, I've got one of those, too. <laughs> a girl can dream. Peace, Maranatha. Bye, bitch. All right, so we're going to slow this down because Rev actually talks in a normal pace, so we're going to slow that back down to normal. These next two are just going to be Rev. Uh, I believe there's just two short ones. This one's like five and a half minutes. The other one's like two minutes long, so won't be too much longer for the stream. For you 29 people that are holding on. <laughs> Talk, bitch. Come on. Oh, my Bible's in the other room. Aw. You can't be a fake Christian I without know your the Bible. Words. You know, the Lord gives me the words. Because I love his word. It's in my heart. So, I'm just waiting for people to come in. Nobody's here. All right, here we go. Sammy, Joe, and Mild Grundling. Again, you don't have to wait for people to come in, Jason. You don't have to sit there and wait for, for chatters to start chatting. Back when I first started doing my live streams, I didn't have anybody in here. There's nobody chatting when I would start my live streams. Now I've got people who actually come in and chat every once in a while. Uh, apparently right now it's just QTC and Slipknotty, but that's all right. I, I don't mind. I don't mind my lurkers. But when I first started doing my live streams, nobody chatted. I had nobody chatting. I had no viewers. Nobody was viewing my shit. And that was fine. I would still do what I needed to do. I would sit there and talk to myself. That's fine. You don't have to wait for people to come in and start chatting. Mild grumbling? Okay. So what's up? Uh, I just, I don't know. I, I, I've been noticing, and it's, it's bizarre. It's really, it's weird. Um, what have you noticed, Trev? We'll have people come to us in private. You know, they'll come up in the DMs. And, and that's why I like, I'm not going to go into names. I'm not going to pull that bullshit. I don't like that. Sorry about that. I don't like, I'm an Apple phone person. I don't like Android phones, man. I much prefer the feel of an Apple iPhone in, in an otter box. That's what I like. That's how I used to roll. I'm too poor for that shit now. I because of the harpy that's probably sitting next to you. That's why you're too poor for this shit. Because she spent all your money. I just got an Obama phone. But hey, thanks Joe Biden for this phone. Because I need it. It's really weird. <clears throat> oh, good, Errant. I will have people come to us in DMs. It's disturbing. It's weird. And. Okay. It's disturbing and weird when people slide into your DMs to talk about drama shit that is centered around you. But it's perfectly fine for you to slide into other people's DMs to beg for money. Okay. Enjoying the double standard here. It almost always, it, it, with the certain type of people, and, and I don't know, I hope that I'm getting better in spotting them and understanding who they are before falling for talking to them. Uh, cause it just isn't good for, for my head. Number one. <clears throat> and, um, I don't like being used by people. Oh, come on, Rev. You cannot sit there and say that you don't like being used by other people when you use other people. 
I cannot, I mean, there's at least two people that I can remember of recent day that have come forward saying that you use them for money. That you were constantly asking them for money. Constantly. You use people all the fucking time, Rev. You can't come out here spouting this bullshit when you do the same goddamn thing. So quit reading DMs altogether? I mean, I guess that's an option. But some people are just genuinely a fan or they just genuinely want to know how you're doing. Like, I, 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 I wouldn't want to not have that that's a nice thing to have some people that actually care about your well-being and like occasionally go well could i help you somehow and and they help you out you know that's a good thing to have in your life for sure you guys hear beeping and airflow it's because i'm turning on my fan because it's florida and it's fucking hot but here's here's what i i'm just trying to understand ah <sighs> It's the, the mentality of people because it almost always ends up being that their motivation was to get us involved in hating on people. That's, that's, that's the bottom line. It always comes down to, well, there's this person that I used to listen to that now I'm against because they started going on me. So now I want to go on you. I want to go on them. This is really weird shit, and I'm trying to understand what the hell it's all about, but honestly... It's drama. It's cringy, gay drama. I don't really give a shit what it's about. Yeah, Slipknotty, I was, I was upset hearing about Jim's, uh... <laughs> Yay, alright, so my fan is quiet. But yeah, I was upset hearing about. I was kind of sad hearing about Jim's health issues. I'm I'm glad he did that one stream though, where he kind of popped in, surprised everybody, and he actually posted on his Facebook saying thanks for everybody who came out to the stream. But yeah, it it does kind of suck that he's going through a lot of health issues right now. But oh well, at least we still got archive channels, so we can always listen to his wonderful smoking cackle. But I'm gonna tell you this: this is gonna be my policy from now on when it when it's. It goes with this shit, okay? Because I'm done with it. If I see you come to me in DMs with stuff about drama, anything drama type shit, okay? They'll never stop? Well, we'll see, okay? If I get D I'm telling you, the reason I'm saying this is because I get DMs like this already, and you're just telling me to stop reading all my DMs? So that's dumb, Okay? So moving on from that idea that you have, that I appreciate your... Yeah, I mean, because if he doesn't read the DMs, then how can he scam people out of money? How can he ask people for money if he doesn't read it? Yeah. I mean, when you put shit out there, Jason, you're when you put your opinion out there and you start taking one stance or the other, you are going to have people that are going to reach out to you when it comes to a when it comes to a person that they are opposed to, that is also opposed to you. It's happened so many times. You're, you're going to have that, unfortunately. It's what you get for being a quote-unquote public figure. You made yourself a quote-unquote public figure. Your idea, but it's not smart. Okay. All right, Pikachu, see you later. If I see people coming in the DMs with this sh drama shit from reaction channels and other people that we don't watch nor want to know exist, if we get messages like that, you're going to get banned from our channel. Okay, we were we will block you if we see this shit because we want nothing to do with that stuff that destroyed our life. That whole sphere, that whole community is toxic and death, cancer. Okay, so we want nothing to do with. Well, I mean, is it the fake cancer that your wife tried to scam people with? Is that the kind of cancer that it is? I will say there I will say there is a level of toxicity within the drama community. There, there's no doubt about that. There is a level of toxicity within the drama community. It's like as soon as their chosen cow takes a break or goes away, they start trying to infight and start eating each other. That's just unfortunately the nature of being part of the drama community. I'm very fortunate in the fact that I really don't give a shit. I really don't care. I will. I don't care if you two disappear forever. I, I just don't care anybody from that area okay 
Now, if you understand that and you can have a relationship with us and talk to us and stuff like that, hey, we'll be friends and it's cool, okay? We can beg you but for money. But if you come to us with drama and reaction channel bullshit, you're going to be blocked forever. God bless you all. Have a great night. All right, so this is going to be the last one. Like, well, it's about a three minute long. And then we'll go on to our closing and we'll get out of here. Like I said, thank you to the 30 people who have managed to hold on this long. Who managed to hold on for like the two and a half hours I've been on. Uh, but this is the one where uh, Jason comes on and says, Therapist said, Shannon done forever again. So this is just another part of the Shanny cycle. She's going to be back. They, they tried pulling the shit before where Shanny was like, I'm not coming on Instagram. This is now Rev's channel, blah, 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 blah. And then what happens? Shanny gets back on there. As long as there are social media available, Shanny will be on there. So I have no doubt that this is just another fake, fake out where Shanny's like saying, I'm done forever. It's just another, another revolution of the Shanny cycle. Now he's going to wait for people to come in because he's a dumbass and doesn't realize he can keep talking even yeah. when there's nobody there. Because the video will be available to view on their Instagram. Oh, God. I don't want to stare at your face. Rev, say something, you fucking bitch. Say something. Stop staring at the camera waiting for validation from chatters. Oh, God, guys. What's up? So, um... Finally got some chatters. I'm just doing this video quick because, um... Uh, Shani had some therapy recently. And uh, her therapist told her that it is for her best uh, mental health interest uh, to not deal with any of this stuff. That is the same song and dance that you guys have told before. You guys did this when you, when you first came back. You guys were like, yeah, therapist told us not to be on social media, blah, blah, blah. They told us not to deal with the bullshit. But yet here you were on there. You were just doing the same shit that you always do. Why is it so different this time? What did Shani's BetterHelp.com therapist tell her? That she that she suddenly felt the urge to get offline. And you, Rev, you know nobody's going to believe this shit. You know this. Shani will disappear maybe for a couple of days, maybe for a week, maybe for another couple of months again. And then she'll be back. She always comes back because she's a narcissist and she needs that validation. Uh, on the internet because for some reason there are certain people that refuse to listen to myself and Shani uh, in not bringing this crap from that other piece of shit platform that people are absolutely obsessed with, with trying to destroy each other's lives. We want nothing to do with that crap. And you guys, some of you, just refuse to listen to that and try to bring us into this crap. You know how to stop that from happening, Jason? I'm going to give you just a little pointer from someone who is a shit poster online who has done a fair share of trolling. If you don't talk about it, people will stop coming to you about it. But you're not going to because you want that attention. You want to feel like you're doing something. You want to feel like people are watching you and people validate your opinions on things because they come to you about this shit. That's why you won't stop commenting on it. That's why you won't stop talking about it. And for those of you who don't know, this actually came from yesterday. So this is yesterday's Instagram. I don't know if they did another Instagram today. I don't care. I'm Like I said, I'm blocked on their Instagram. I haven't seen one pop up on any of the archive channels. But you can't stay away. You're, you are obsessed with social media. You are obsessed with YouTube. You are obsessed with Instagram. You are obsessed with that validation that comes from being on those platforms. You're the one who is obsessed because you constantly talk about it. And as I've told people before, if you just ignore people, ignore the trolls, maybe give them like a little bit, a little tidbit if they come in and start trying to poke at you, not react in a visceral way, not make it like a three minute long video talking about how you don't want to be involved in it again, or like a 20 minute long video, like your wife, like your quote unquote wife just did, then people aren't going to come to you with it because there's no reaction. If there's no reaction, there's nothing, there's, there's no reason to keep poking. 
but you you you're like a trained seal almost you look like a trained seal where if people sit there and give you the right stimulus you'll perform how they want you to app over and over and over and over again so she literally will not be looking at anything from instagram anymore bullshit um, this was the last place that we were going to be to try and just have Make a money. platform of some kind to speak to you guys to to grift that's that's what it, that's what you mean it was your last it was your last platform to grift but because of the non-compliance of some people out there it's just not going to work so her therapist basically said look um this stuff negative negatively impacts your mental health tremendously um so if she was seeing a therapist and I, that's a big if i i press a big ass x to doubt on her even seeing a fucking therapist if she was seeing a therapist i would imagine that her therapist would have told her this a long time ago like during the two months that you guys were gone after you lost the losers club but no you, you can't stay away you can't stay away so yeah i know it's funny right it is funny so funny. uh she's done you're not going to hear from her again. Bullshit. Okay, thank you for We've the hearts that. instead of laughing. So, uh, yeah, wise guy. What's up, wise guy? I see I'm wise laughing. guy in here. So, um, that's basically all I'm making the video for right now. Uh, for the nice guys out there, she loves you. You know, Shani loves you for, for the nice people out there. But but you guys, the, the other ones that just won't let this stuff go, the past, you guys have to let this stuff go. And no, I'm sorry, Jason, but I cannot find it in me to let go of child abuse and cancer scams. I can't bring myself to let go of that shit. I, I just can't. I'm sorry. But you are a child abuser and you are a scammer. And I will continue to call you a child abuser and a scammer. Until you actually get off the fucking internet and go get yourself a goddamn job. And I'm going to say it again. If you're smart, thanks, wise guy. God bless you, too. Um, if you're smart, you will get off of YouTube. I'm telling you, it's destroying your mind. It's nah. making you crazy, okay, and obsess on this stuff. Get away from it. For us, we're done. Okay, I've said this before and I said this, I'll say this again. After I do my live streams where I laugh at you and your dumpster fire of a life, I don't go and watch shit about you. I could go watch the archive channels that have your videos. I could go, I could watch nothing but shit about you, but I don't. I watch like Lauren Z side, Gray Still Plays, fucking slime videos. Um, I've recently become obsessed with this one channel called Horoscoped where they actually break out of video games and show what's on behind the scenes what's behind the curtain and it's fascinating to see that shit i that's the type of shit that i watch i don't watch your shit unless i'm reacting to it that's it oh god damn on with it peace out all right thank you millie all right, so that is going to do it for me. Thank you, everybody who came out. The 30 of you that hung around, thank you so much for hanging around. The few of you that were chatting, thank you for chatting. This is going to do it for me. We're actually going to do something. We're going to do a little throwback. We're going to go back to Lulz Cal Productions, and he's going to do our closing number. So, like I said, if you like the stream, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, downvote the shit out of it. When the stream comes up and it's live and you can comment on it, Go down in the comment section below, comment on it, get into protracted arguments in the comments. Talk about shit that has nothing to do with the stream in the comments. Say whatever the fuck you want to in the comments. As long as it's not a dox, I don't give a shit. Say whatever you want to in the comments. Other than that, you guys have a fantastic day. I will see you the next time I decide to stream. Although, you know, I may just disappear for another two weeks. Who knows? <laughs> Bye guys, y'all have a fantastic day. Mm hmm.
Jason never worked anywhere His life is a waste He lost his money It's tough Ooh, so tough Shani works the grift all day Working hard on a stream She gets donations for drugs And the food He says, Brad's got to work hard to hit my G-spot. It shouldn't make the difference if I'm bad or not. We beg for each other, and we have disabilities. Now pay us a lot. Who knocked on your door? Whoa, living on a scam. Got cancer. Believe me, I swear. Shani's hot a ticking clock. Rev's going live and she's making him beg. The Rev. Oh, it's tough. Rev dreams of running away. When he cries in the night, Shani whispers, Baby, it's okay. Now feed me. Just gotta work hard to reach her deep spot. It shouldn't make a difference if she's fat or not. We fed for each other and we have disabilities. Now pay us a lot. Who knocked on your door? Whoa, living on a scam wasn't the uncle. Believe me, I swear.